Hello, 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 everybody. Says we are live. Hi, Fish in the Mid South. Skip Jack Cindy. Hi, honey. Sampy, Sampy, I see you in here. Hopefully, I oh, will. Says we have two, so. I uh, turn it down though, so it doesn't backfeed into the mic here, give us audio issues. Hopefully the audio is okay. Hopefully the audio is so long. Three folks in. Welcome, welcome. Once we get a couple more people in here, I'll... Uh, seems like I have an echo. I think it's because Tim had his phone on. Is the echo still there, honey? Tim was. Tim had the phone on, so I was worried we were going to get a, some kind of overfeed. Nope, still not there. Good. Yeah, that's why when you had your phone, yeah. when it's open, it echoes bad. It's, I don't know, man. All right, we are still getting everything set up, folks, so bear with me. Got to get some charge cables hooked up so we don't end up dying during the middle of this. I'm going to hit the live button. I'm going to close mine out. <laughs> ain't like I need to watch the live version. I'm here. Well, I mean, you can watch it and talk to people if they talk in the comments. Right. Just keep it muted. That way the audio doesn't overfeed right, each okay. other. But yeah, sometimes we'll do that in order to talk to people because it's hard to see this little screen. It's gone. Good. I need to keep as much better as I can. Tell you what do you need? A C-type? Yeah. There's a C-type under there. Okay. I'll just leave it going there. Dude, I got C-types for the GoPros. I got lightning for my iPhone. Got all the chargers. What's the count? The count is we just got out here fishing the Mid-South. Oh, I guess it's not a Lightning. It's a C-Type. Mm -hmm. So I guess I don't have an extra C-Type for you, bro. I got you. Four people in here. Welcome, everybody. Thanks for coming in. Bear with me as I continue to get stuff out, then I'll get back and double check chat, make sure I haven't missed anybody. Just fighting the wind right now. Got your socks out and stuff like that. Folks, let's go back. Call Mike. Got skip check Cindy. Hi, that's caught up with everybody. Hello, everybody. 
if you want to stand up. I'll break that camera. So there's four of us, four of y'all in here. I'm gonna go ahead and cover it. Um, I'm out with my brother Tim. We are the cameras on this side, but ready. Um, they don't want to see me either. They want to see the rods. <laughs> um, anyway, we're out dragging. I was curious if we we're going to do any good during the eclipse. So we are out here early messing around, dragging an old creek bed, seeing if the catfish have moved up. The Water temps are 63 degrees. I'm sure to warm up as we go through the day. But yeah, we're just we're out here uh, out here dragging, seeing if uh, any fish bite during the eclipse. Okay, I'm gonna tell you, brother. I know it's um, been a while current. since you've been fishing, but you oh, need to wait man. for it to bend over and bury that little little neat. I still like saying it. Especially dragon. Like yesterday when we were anchored, uh, that flathead data caught, that's what it was doing. It was just that little flathead bite. And, uh, oh, I can't show you that flathead because the video is yeah, up here. But I'll show you later. This has been long enough. I've been out here. I like seeing any kind of rod dancing. All right. Six folks in here. Welcome, everyone. We are out here conducting a scientific experiment. <laughs> you know, there's some conspiracy theorists out there that I guess think the, the, the water levels are going to rise 80 feet during this thing or all fire and brimstone. So we're out here doing a scientific experiment, seeing what happens on Chickamauga Lake well, during an eclipse. Well, it does happen. We'll die smiling. Oh, yeah, you mean kind of like die like uh, I thought I was going to the first time I fished up by Sequoia Nuclear Dam when I first moved here and you didn't tell me that the alarm went off. I wasn't going to. On the first Wednesday of every month at noon. I wasn't going to. That's something good to tell a, a newbie up here. Uh, let me tell you something. I, Man, didn't think your Florida, I didn't think your Florida rear end could run through them Tennessee trees that fast. The rocks. I ran across the rocks. You was gone. Like, or something. Yeah, I was telling Dana about it the other night. We were laughing about it. Everybody, that alarm went off. He come running back over, and he's asking, what do we do? Calm as I could be. I told him, just keep fishing. So we got a lot of marks across the screen so far. Of course, <laughs> we see a lot of marks all the time and don't necessarily catch anything. Right now my speed's sitting at 0.5 because I got two drift socks out. I'm actually about to bump us up a hair okay. to see about going to uh, 0 0.6, 0 0.7. In fact, let's just go ahead and do it. Thanks, honey. Yeah, thumbs up if people don't mind. That'd be a great thing. Let's YouTube know that you like the video. In fact, I'll, I'll ask if you want to share it out. I did not set this up for subscriber only mode because I don't know, YouTube changed it and I couldn't find it. So now you are listen your your name's blue on my channel because you're a moderator. I am. Yes. What does that mean? You can kick people out, you can mute them for a while. It basically you're there to make sure some troll doesn't come in my stream and start cussing and saying stuff about people. We gotcha. actually had to in one of, uh, I had to have somebody kick somebody out of one of them. Hopefully okay, that's Darryl. not a major problem. Uh, trolls? You, yeah. Come on, trolls are, it's yeah, the internet. Find you. It's the internet. Trolls yeah. are always a problem. But yeah, he started making fun of Daryl's accent. Daryl's from, from. Over there? Out, 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 <laughs> out east of, east of Dalton. Out not, east of Dalton. LJ. LJ. He's okay. in the LJ area. So, I mean, he's got, thick, he's, got land a, east of he's got a thick southern accent. Yeah. But somebody was on there being douchey about it. So, I had somebody cut it go. out. That is one thing about the catfish community. 
a lot of them have most of them have uh, thick thick southern accents. I wonder why that. And then apparently the rest of us are called northerners if we don't have one. You according fried, to Daryl, you a country fried city boy. I tried to tell them all that. They didn't get that. Jasper, she said Jasper, Georgia. Ah, no, that area. Been through there many times. That's not far from Eton or not Eton. Yeah, that's a long way from Eton. It's not far from LJ. Seven folks in here. Welcome, welcome. Thanks for coming in. If you want to put something in the chat, we'll uh, work on reading it. See, normally I keep my phone back here, but I can't read chat when it's this far back. Gotcha. <laughs> we are using fresh Skippy Jacks today. Well, I say fresh. I called them Thursday. Or wait, Friday. I don't know. They're still fresh. Fresh. They had nice, nice blood coming out of them. That's what matters. That day at the uh, at the nuclear plant, that was the same day that you hid down in the floorboard, wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> yes, that was also the day you killed some farmer's prize rooster. Now, I'm gonna call that you old out. rooster. That car, that farmer's watching this stream right now, and he's gonna meet us at the boat dock. We're at Skull Island Boat Dock. Uh, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. We're at Wolf Fever. I, I, I no, we're trying. not. <laughs> Y'all, we're driving down this back mountain road trying to look for a place to go fishing. And we come up over this hill. And there's this rooster standing in the middle, literally in the middle of the road, standing on the, the yellow line. It took one step into our lane and it meant the bumper of the truck real quick. I mean, in all fairness, he didn't have time to stop. I'm not saying he like attacked a chicken or a rooster. He didn't have time to stop. Definitely did not have time to stop. But the we last thing that went through that rooster's head was the bumper of that Dodge. <laughs> we had to come back through there and I told John, we got to go back past that farmer's house. He hit the floorboard. I thought he might start shooting at us. I mean, it was up there in Birchwood or near there, wasn't it? Birchwood, yeah. yeah. Anybody who lives around here long enough, long enough knows about them Birchwoodians. <laughs> Especially if they know a bullet sins. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, I better not invoke the name of the devil right. <laughs> before an eclipse. Don't say it three times fast. <laughs> Be like old Beetlejuice, pop Bob up. the Builder, Bob the Builder. <laughs> Shut up. Hey, you know they're coming out with another Beetlejuice? Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I saw that the other day. I hear this one's supposed to be darker and not as funny. Still got seven folks in here. Thanks, everybody, for chilling out. We are conducting a scientific experiment to see if catfish feed during an eclipse. So we're out here early, just starting to work it and see what's going on. If y'all don't mind hitting the thumbs up, in fact, I'll even say it. If you're not subscribed to my channel, give me, give me a subscribe. I definitely appreciate it. We're almost to 1800. And I appreciate all of you. I know all of you don't watch all the lies. Some of some of my subscribers just watch shorts, and that's okay with me. And some of y'all watch lies, and some watch regular video. It's all hodgepodge. Yeah, YouTube's funny, Tim. It'll actually tell me the age group that watches. And what I've noticed is... On shorts, it's the young crowd. On long, on regular video videos, it's the older crowd, older than me, 60s. Um, they have more time to watch it. And then the live seems to be a mix of 30s and up. But yeah, it's kind of cool that YouTube tells me that. Yeah. 
because of your demographics. Yeah. <clears throat> Waiting on Daryl to come in here. He says, I never read live I'm, or read chat. I'm reading chat. Doing good reading chat. Come on. Come talk trash, Daryl. Bob, Brandon. Where's my Tennessee uh, fisherman at? So one thing we do kind of watch as we go through here, okay. just because with how widespread we are. So you see that uh, red buoy up there? Yeah. Okay. And then further up, there's a green one on this side. So okay. we kind of snake our way between the two. Yeah. <laughs> that way we don't get a board sna uh, snagged up in them. What is going on? Oh, it's locked. Can't hit it with a door. <laughs> Public service announcement announcement from Catfish Hunters TV. If you're under 21, don't bait. There you go, Kevin. <laughs> I'm just being a smart ass. That's me. Yeah, well, that's who I am. He was born one, just grew bigger. Yep. I mean, they tried to tell me that same when I was growing up. Everybody likes a little ass, nobody likes a smart one. And I'm like, uh, they're going to like me. We are Dragon 7 today. I know not everything is showing up. I'm trying a different camera on the back of my phone. It says it's the widescreen, but it's not really picking up everything. Plus, I had to move my phone so I could read. Question. Caleb Ramirez. Caleb Ramirez. Um, I want to say the weather, the weatherman of all uh, people said something this morning, like it's supposed to happen around one something, one thirty ish or one twenty. It's supposed to start, and then we'll be in the big part of it a little bit later. But we just wanted to get out here and start fishing because who knows? We may catch fish before the eclipse and then nothing during, or we may not catch anything before and it may go crazy during. We don't, we don't know. It's kind of part of why we're out here talk to a couple people i know that fish and they said they've never fished during an eclipse so i never figured heard. hey give it a try worst thing that happens is we skunk but still a, a bad day out on the water is still a better day of of a better day at work River Rat, Catfish Hunter, what's going on, guys? Flatty, flatty, flatty. Well, I guess since we're dragging, we're more aimed for blues, but I guess we're going for whatever bites the hood, really. But what's up, River Rat? Thanks for coming in, man. <clears throat> we are trying to see if the fish are going to eat during this eclipse. Ooh, a little something just jumped up in front of us. You scared? I don't have a skipjack rod with me. All right. I ended up breaking off a couple of them yesterday and didn't tie last night. Anyway, this isn't really a good skipjack spot over here anyway. It's where I'd more cast. Where are we on the other side of the wall? Over here is where I'd throw a net for shed. But I've got a huge shed in there and a really big white bass. Yesterday, we didn't even get a nibble on white bass. Everything came on skipjack. It's kind of why I wanted to start uh, only running skipjack this morning. You're up. I do better on white bass June on. I know I've heard some people like there's a guy who fishes up near Nash, uh, yeah, Nashville. The guy who owns the Tennessee state record. He says they're biting, biting white bass up there now. And yeah, last couple times I've been out and used white bass, hadn't even gotten a nibble on it yet. So normally this time of year for me, it's shad and skipjack. 
Bobcat. White bass stinks. What's up, Robert? Robert Cat? No, I'm kidding. What's up, Bob? White bass stinks. Well, Dana's 49 pounder last October came on white bass, that white bass head. Um, dude, it seems like almost all our fish over 40 last year came on either white bass or shad. When I went back looking through the videos, it all seemed to come on white bass and shad. That's crazy. Feeding my face. All right. What are you eating? Let me guess. Pork rinds and RC Cola. Sounds good. <laughs> or Vienna sausages. Still sounds good. Yeah, handling them is a bit of a, a painful mess. I think I got poked yesterday when I cut one up. And if they're too big, it takes a uh, takes a chainsaw to go through that backbone. Oh, burger patties. Look, no bread. He's eating healthy. Good, Bob. You got to eat healthy, man. No more heart attacks, bro. Right. I've been stabbed so many times. Right. Yeah, River Rat, he is the bumping king. At least of the Tennessee River, he is definitely the bumping king. Nine awesome folks in here. Welcome in, guys. If you're just tuning in, we are out here dragging Chickamauga Lake. We are searching for some big catfish. And we're going to be out here live when the eclipse happens and while it's doing its thing. And we're going to see if we get any fish. We're going to see if the fish bite. We need flow. We do need flow. Well, we'll get more flow once they start, once the rivers all get up or the reservoirs all get, get up. I'm sure we'll get more flow. Yeah, Bob, I was up at, uh, after Dana and I went fishing, we went up to the dam to try to get skipjack yesterday. <laughs> all, all we were catching was uh, smallies. It's like the smallmouth chased all the skipjack out. <laughs> In fact, I just put a short up this morning of Dana's small, one of Dana's bigger smallmouths. <laughs> Y'all ought to check it out. All right, so we're getting ready to come to a choke point in this old creek. Um, and normally, right in this choke point, we get pretty decent bites. And sometimes, if we were a little little closer to this river mouth, I think, or this old creek mouth, we might get a bite too. But I wanted to be on the north side of this creek, not the south side. All right. Well, Bob, there's a ton of stuff on the depth finder, but, you know, we all know how that is. Just because we're marking it doesn't mean you're going to eat. But we're going to try this spot. Um, Bob said hi, Tim. I say. River Rat caught a few good ones last night at the Cove. That's nice. But yeah, we're gonna, yeah, that's, yeah, I posted it so you can see it that way. But yeah, we're gonna drag up in this old creek and then we're actually gonna drag into this cove that's in front of us here. And then we're gonna come out, if we don't get anything, we're gonna, there's a little flat over here we're gonna drag. Hey Bob, did you guys drag the hump that I was telling Brandon he should give a try? Because there's a hump between the main, it goes the main river, the flat, a hump, and then the creek I'm in. I wondered if you guys had did the hump. Um, 
I think that'd probably be good on a really sunny day. <coughs> All right, I'm going to slow us down a hair because we've been going 0 0.6, 0 0.7 and haven't gotten a bump after we've been seeing stuff. So that's a lot of what this dragon stuff is, Tim, is yeah, changing yeah. speeds and... I get you. Like last year, I was catching them in the middle of summer. Well, actually, from late spring on through spawn, I was catching them at 0 0.7, 0 0.8. I think so. Once we got shallow, we started getting action. So that green buoy is actually the, the start of the hump. So that hump goes right over here. Oh, okay. Um, and it goes all the way down, almost to the entrance of Wolf Teaver. Hey, Stuart. What's up, man? Welcome in from Scotland, I believe. Well, folks in here, welcome in everybody. We appreciate y'all coming in. If you're new to here, my name is John. I'm with Catfish Hunters TV. And we are experimenting to see whether catfish will bite during an eclipse. Once the eclipse starts. Till then, we're just fishing. Yeah, it's crazy how the wind's so strong. It's got a bow in that blue and orange rod. Yeah. Fishy, fishy in the water, but can make me hotter. Here, hold on. Let me mute. <laughs> okay, so I muted it because I did drop the F bomb. So one day we were out fishing. I out, <laughs> we were bank fishing. Yeah, over soccer field. And the tennis courts, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And it was a day. It was just, it was a bad day. And I said, ain't nothing effing biting. And I didn't even barely finish the word biting until a rod buried. And wasn't that that 50? Yeah. That really yeah. big one that we actually never got a weight on, but had to be over 50? It had to be. I mean, it broke a scale. So, yeah, I'm guessing it was. But I don't count that as my PB because I never got a scale on it. So, my PB is the 51 I called on Kings last year. I don't even think we knew the formula at that time. No, remember, I, this, <laughs> uh, but it's, okay, so I'm going to tell my 12 folks, I'm going to give you 12, my, my most embarrassing moment, catfishing, okay? So, it was that day, that rod, it was a cheap Walmart rod of all things, too, that I caught that big fish on. So, we get the fish, I get it up to the boat dock. The boat ramp let me rephrase that and we're standing at the edge of the water and i go to hook it up to the scale and i go to lift the scale because it was huge well we had an old walmart crappy like 50 pound luggage scale well as i'm lifting this fish i don't even get the tail off the luggage scale busts the hook busts the fish hits the hits the uh boat ramp and rolls right into the water i halfway dive in the water and grab its tail and this fish just flaps its tail and my hand comes off like it was nothing. And it was gone. So that's why I said I don't count that as my PB just because I never was able to get a weight on it. But that's, I consider my most embarrassing fish story because I caught that big son of a gun. But I never got a picture. And I never got a weight. 
And I never weigh fish right at the boat uh, boat ramp anymore either. <laughs> Hell, I'm very cautious about what I carry down to the water. You remember Tink Tink Bloosh. <laughs> That was a perfect dam. Yep. Yeah, one night we're at the dam fishing and all of a sudden we hear tink tink sploosh and the battery door of his mod fell in the river. It's kind of funny. Josh, what's up? DJ master crazy bait mixing, playing with turkey testicles to make them cinnamon, brown sugar, whatever you're trying to do to them. What's up, Josh? So Josh owns a bait shop up by uh, Watts Bar, three miles east. Let me just be that guy and say, Thompson's Outdoors and More, three miles east of Watts Bar Dam. I don't remember what road it's on, but anyway. Good day. He makes some of the craziest bait concoctions I've seen yet. So he took and soaked some cut up skipjack in some coffee grounds. But the message this guy sends me last night, what's up, Brandon? is turkey testicles and he, i think he said he's gonna make some ch uh cherry garlic chicken testicles i was just like hey, if it works bruh <laughs> i was like bruh i think you've taken it too far now be careful making stuff up like that folks around here might eat it <laughs> But yeah, turkey testicles. Yep. See, we have a tournament coming up this year that's chicken only. And he was, we were talking about different um, concoctions to do chicken in. And I was telling him that I have a video out I did last year of chicken. And garlic chicken actually outperformed everything. Mm. Um but he keeps joking around about making some freeze-dried skipjack cotton candy, you know, because Dana's candy business. <laughs> um, that's kind of where it all started with the goofiness of it. But now it's kind of evolved to where, like I said, he's sending me pa pa pictures of packages of turkey testicles saying, hey, guess what I'm going to make? Uh, it might be worth trying. Hey, you know. John inspired me to try cotton candy skip jerk. Yeah, he calls them skip jerk because they always get off the hook. Oh, the wind seemed to slow down a hair. Maybe I can get back on the track I originally wanted. Yeah, the wind moved us way this way and put us on the north, way north side of the creek. So primary can move back. And then the wind comes back. Uh -huh. <laughs> Garlic cherry mountain oysters. <laughs> Somebody actually might eat those. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> know your area. Hey, Brandon, Bob says he thinks you guys hit the hump. Did you hit the hump? I know since you and I drag a lot of the same areas, you'll know what I'm talking about. Oh, James. Okay. James is the original skip guy who calls them skip jerks. Ah. James is cool cats. Cool cats fishing. Bob, I need bait. Well, I mean, you got a boat. And there's a dam, and you live pretty close to it. We were not humping. You weren't humping. That's a good thing. You weren't humping, but you were bumping. <laughs> All right. Fishy, fishy in the water by my hook and make him holler. <laughs> All right. We pulled across it. Okay. Any luck on it? Just got about 40 fresh skip jerk in. Well, I mean, uh, 
do I need to drop a pin? You can deliver them to me. I'm at the boat ramp. Or I can be. <laughs> oh, Brandon, our fish were down where the creek meets the main channel. Yeah, see, when I scanned there this morning, there wasn't anything there. Actually kind of made me a little little sketched about coming back here. And then when we started working back here, I started marking. <laughs> Want to meet Bobcat? Do what? The running joke between all the Tennessee fishermen is whether we need bait or not is we go into everybody's chats and we need bait. Gotcha. That's kind of, I mean, we always need bait. You always need bait. Right. I'm not going to say you don't, especially when you're fishing 20 tournaments a year, plus doing all your other lives and then me doing the, the vets with net stuff. Yeah, I'm always going to need bait. <laughs> you throw enough hooks out there, you'll smack some. I don't which one. It just makes something. <laughs> Bob's like, I'm kidding about bait. I got a freezer full. Yeah, I got some in the freezer myself. Not a lot. Got to get my, uh, got to get my bait tank work on my bait tank, make sure it's working. I haven't used it in a couple of years for the live bait tournament that's coming up. So we have a tournament coming up. It's called the Iron Man Live Bait Challenge. You have to yeah. fish with live bait. You, um, you have four hours to catch fish. Anybody who doesn't catch a fish is gone. They're no longer in the tournament. Then you have two hours to catch a fish. If you don't catch a fish, you're out. And then the last hour is a sudden death where I believe it's the first person to catch. Or maybe it's if you catch a fish, they have an hour to catch, and if they don't, then it's over. But it's kind of something like that. It's really cool. Yeah. You don't want to know what they look like, Bob? I'm going to send you the picture he sent me. That way you have to know what turkey testicles look like, just like I had to know. Sounds like it's a sight you'll never be able to bleach out of your eyes. <laughs> Wife went to town, she says... What do you need? I said turkey testicle. She said no. <laughs> uh, uh. I don't know if y'all can see that boat over there, but Bob's got Bob's got somebody out here watching me. He's Spires. tracking. Tim, 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 Tim. Yep, I see it. All right, fish on, y'all. Fish on. About knocking them down, trying to get to it. Because I ain't missing it. Okay, so to get these yeah. off, normally you would just yeah, sweep yeah. it along the edge of the water. But I will release this one for you if you drop the tip of the rod here. Yeah. All right, you're good. All right, fish on, fish on. <laughs> Dude, he uh, hit it like he was somebody, yeah, didn't he? Yeah. It's the first of the day and it's a skunk buster. Hey, and he's going to give us the headbait back. Baby. Yeah. I'm going to do a disco for you first. All right. Are those Daiichi hooks that I got from Brandon. Got a couple of them on today. That came off a skipjack head. 
or skip jerk head. Got a little whatever. bit of scoring going on there too. Huh? Getting a little bit of scoring going on. There you go. Uh, you probably have to hold it up higher. You got to remember the camera's up I high. Like it. Okay. I didn't know. Figured I'd let you know. Yeah, normally when the camera's further back, you don't have to. But like right. I said, in order for me to even be able to read chat, because Daryl gives me crap about reading chat. And I know people want me to read chat. So let's go look at chat. All right. Be at the Chick Wednesday, netting and catching. Going to miss that tournament. What tournament? Are you missing the bumping tournament, uh, Bob? This is like I need a... Need a Joey. Tim get it, he said. There's a dude filming. I told Brandon it was one of your spies. I got spies everywhere, man. Yeah, I know. You guys always make fun of me in chat. I don't care. Yeah, that's fine. Next. Like I said, good skunk buster. Yeah. I ain't gonna complain about it. I mean, I'd hope you're not complaining since you got a free boat, uh, guided boat trip today. So I think this guy is actually go about to go sit in that creek I wanted to go into. So I don't think we're going to be going in there. Gotcha. Watch me. Oh, the live bait tournament. Oh, Walker. Oh, he's watching. Well, hi, Walker, since you're in here. Tim's former boss. Friend. Friend and former boss. Always a friend. Um, I think it's a night tournament, Bob. <clears throat> Let me go back. I got some stuff I missed. Josh, Bobcat is going to drop me off on the railroad tracks on one of the pylon supports for the bumping tournament. I mean, uh, yeah, as long as the water doesn't all of a sudden raise on you, because how screwed would you be? Josh, because Brian B. said bank can't bump. Well, I mean, technically, it's impossible for a bank to bump. I mean, I've been trying to figure out in my head how you can walk along the bank and bump. Oh, he's not going back in there. Good. Gotcha. I got floats. I can see the headlines now. Right, missing Josh Thompson because somebody dropped him off at a a pylon. Yeah, he wants to get dropped off. You know how at the dam when the water's low enough, there's the flat pylons mm -hmm. under the train track. Yep. Yeah, he's like, well, just drop me off there and I'll bump bump back and I'll just be on the bank. We're like, bro, that's kind of dangerous in case the water comes up. What right. you gonna do? 
that alarm starts going. And next thing you know, Josh is calling 84 people like, get me off this thing. And we're all like, dude, we're in spots fishing, man. You're in your turn. Swim. <laughs> I could see doing it from the pier, Bob. I can see that because it sticks out. I've actually thought about trying to teach myself how to bump on the pier instead of doing it on the boat. But I'm just going to skip the bumping one this year. Give myself some time to learn how to do it. So yesterday, nothing came off heads. Today, the first fish came off a head. We get another one on a head. I may cut heads off the three of them that are still in there and put heads on three more. I don't know. We'll see. And that hookup came when I slowed down to 0.5, in case anybody wants to know. Yeah, I don't know if it's legal to fish from the pads either. But we also don't know if turkey testicles are good for, are legal for bait, but Josh is going to find out. <laughs> Let us know how much the fine is. Uh, right. Yeah, I saw a video the other day. I forget who, who caught it, but that rod just buried, dude. It buried, it touched the water. It looked like it had a hundred pounder on it. Dude pulled up like a 12 pound fish. <laughs> Sometimes you just can't tell, man. Bob says, it doesn't say you can't. Josh says, I'm just, I, I don't think I can fish that. I'm just making it funny. But. Yeah, you got to watch some of these coves here in the summertime because you'll end up uh, coming across somebody who's getting busy. Yeah. It's like the. The video. The getting busy coves. <laughs> we got cameras. We'll take video. <laughs> that is not going on my live. I'm not getting demonetized from YouTube for that. <laughs> my PB was 45 on an orange Kool-Aid white bass head. <laughs> Yeah, uh, this is actually a catching show now, Lynn. We caught one, my buddy Tim did, about maybe 10-ish 10, 10 minutes ago or so. You can slide on back and see it. We didn't weigh it because it's nowhere near anything near his PB. Uh, probably won't weigh anything unless it's obviously more than 30, 20 or 30. But yes, it's a catching show now. It's been a fishing show. There you go. Nope, it was a snag. Ah. I didn't see how it went down, or I probably would have known it was a snag. I just looked up and there was a buried rod. I was fishing up here one time last summer and I had a live, or not a live bluegill, but I had a whole bluegill on and it got just smoked. I didn't end up hooking up with it, but when I pulled it in, it looked like somebody had almost taken a knife and cut the side of the bluegill. Gar. Mm. Gar teeth, yeah. I like to guess. You have a new subscriber, John. Awesome. I appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. My buddy Walker, he uh, he talks good crap with you. Don't worry. 
he definitely trash talk. I mean, we all trash talk each other. You're supposed to. It's a huge fish. It's huge. Everybody in chat knows who that is. <laughs> hey, that might have been Daryl's video where it buried it and, and then it turned out to be a smaller fish. But yeah, there was one. He was tripping. He's like, it's huge. Get the net. Get the net. And then it's like a teenager or low 20s, something like that. It wasn't big. Right. But that's been, everybody's been messing with them since then. Every time anybody does a video, they're like, it's huge. Get the net. <laughs> Actually, I don't think it was a, yeah, I wasn't during the tournament. I think it was just a live stream. He was out fishing with Cool Cat James. Well, dang, man, that made me almost excited. I was going to say it looks like old Lynn Leaper is a good luck charm coming in the chat with a good fish, but he came in the chat and we got a snag. <laughs> Well, so far the eclipse ain't been too bad, though. Well, I mean, we haven't yeah, we, haven't been in that part yet. Not yet. We're gonna get there pretty quickly. Here. Yes. Josh says, "Hey, Bill." Bill says, "Hey, Josh." Run, Johnny, run! Right? All right, I'll cut up and chat. 11 awesome folks still in here. We appreciate you. Yeah, I just glanced up and that Patriot Rod was buried. Uh, I didn't even. So what you can tell is if it goes back really slow, Usually that's a snag of some sort, right. but like you saw that planar board when you Snatch got that down, hit, yeah. how it just jerks across the water. Yeah, Ooh, we got one from last year where Dana was. Um, we were in like eight foot of water, and Dana caught that 38, 39 pounder, and it it was where that orange planer board was. And the video, you can see that planer board skip across the top of the water all the way to the back of the boat because it just took it and ran. Don't you get talk trash thing? This size of small car. I mean, you're <laughs> the one who caught it. <laughs> so we really don't have an accurate measurement of your PB either because you no. maxed out a scale too. Yeah, I was going to down. I mean, it was definitely somewhere around 50 or 60. It was big. Yeah, we'll never know, though. Yeah, I know. Just like mine. We'll never know. I got a picture of it. Does that count? Yes, that's better than what I don't have for mine. <laughs> you know, we didn't get a picture on mine because it broke and went right back into Verger. I know if we want to get any big fish out here, we need to have Dana with us. <laughs> uh, you're not wrong. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not. <laughs> I mean, I caught a 30 something out here without her. Yeah, but see, had she been out here with you, you'd have caught that 30, she'd have never 60. Probably. <laughs> she does seem to double up a lot of what I get. Yep. Building a bathroom. Yep. Hey, get that food license, man. That'll be awesome for your business. In fact, I'm I'm starting to try to work out what what we might do to replace the vape shop because it just seems like 
it just seems like uh, federal government's just going to kill vaping no matter what it takes them to do. In favor of cigarettes. Yeah, in favor of cigarettes. We just had this big bill not pass Georgia, thank goodness. But it would have that would have put us out of business. That bill would have definitely put us out of business. Hmm. Interesting. Forty five pounder on Watts Bar. Yeah. yeah. Off beef liver. Well, you can tell him the state record's a hundred well, he's watching. Yeah. Uh the state record's hundred and twenty eight pounds. I believe it's 128. 120 something. Yeah, Shelby has a nice PB on goldfish. Yeah, I, I remember seeing that one. Fourteen awesome people in here. Thank you, thank you. Huh? On the north side of the dam, he said you. He thinks you're right about the record. Yep, the guy who set the record caught the record-breaking fish in like August, I think it was, or October, and then like four months later, a few miles away, caught it again. And it had gained almost 10 pounds. I'm pretty sure it went from 118 to 128. Maybe it was 123 to 128. But it gained a lot of weight in just a few months. <clears throat> We've sold out of his rods. Micah Burkhart, 122. 122. That's the current state all right, Tim, we need 122.1. Let's go. Yeah, here, here you go. fishy, fishy, that. fishy. <laughs> I need to start doing the Mad Cats tournament thing. I keep forgetting to do it. I've got everything I need. I got Mad Cats rods. I got a hat and a cab. Like, I think we should have done it on Dana's 50, my 51, but we didn't. Sometimes when you're fishing a tournament, you kind of get excited in the tournament and you forget that they're trying to offer. So 118 and 122. So it went up four pounds in like three or four months. That's what it was. <laughs> oh, Marillo. I can show you how to gain weight, hold my salad. <laughs> What's up, Marillo family fishing? Welcome in. Let me go back and make sure I didn't miss nobody. Josh, 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 Lynn. I know he caught it both times dragging, too. <clears throat> I've actually watched the watched the video. Ooh, big marks, big marks. Mm -hmm. Coming by this uh, creek mouth right here, or cove mouth. Yeah, man, it's so. Oh, let me go back. Oh, get your weight up, Bob. He said he's trying to keep his down. Yeah, Bob lost a lot of weight in the last year and a half. Mm. Well, part of it was because he spent time in the hospital. After I beat him for Kings of the Tennessee, the man went and had a freaking heart attack. You tried had to have a quadruple. Apparently, that. apparently, man, nobody subscribes to me because I tried to kill the famous Bumping Bob. I mean, geez. Yeah, well, be gentle. <laughs> just the, the thought of losing to somebody who was a newbie, he just couldn't handle it. And... I'll let you answer that one. Second one he caught was on White Bass Head. Um, a bunch. <laughs> so they're all, oh, well, he's actually in chat, so I don't have yeah. to, you don't have to type it. 
So I have, actually, I think everything's got 10 in, or no, wait. So two rods have nine out hooks, three rods have 10 out, and I believe two rods have 12 odds. Um, the type of hooks I'm using are, I've started using a lot of Nocturnal Nation hooks. I really, really dig the hook. Uh, the pig sticker, especially because it's got a really wide gap on it for Mondo baits. But my buddy, uh, that guy, fish, that fish shizzle guy, um, he actually gave me some Diachi D85s, I think they are. I forget. They, I know they've changed names. I don't want to just say a name because I know it's not that. Um, and that fish Tim caught came on that hook. So they're really good hooks. We're about to order Mad Cats. Stop and prepay to save 30 on shipping. <clears throat> yeah, I'm kind of shocked they're discontinuing what seems like most of their rods. All the carbine, that's kind of crazy. I will say it almost makes me want to go buy all carbines to put on my boat, but I'm not going to. I don't want to be divorced. <laughs> <laughs> nah, she won't leave me for that. Maybe. <laughs> Why are they discontinuing? I think they're going to come out with new colors. Uh -huh. There you go. Fish on. Oh, maybe not. He may have came off. Yeah, he's off. Yeah. Fish off. Bob knows what that's like. That's all they said Saturday. Fish on. Fish off. Ah, he hit the bottom half of it. He waited just an extra second. No, I mean, he just hit the bottom half of it. That's an educated fish. I think that's a fish that's been hooked before. So they short strike. Yeah. If they can take it off and leave the area with it, then they eat it, and they're like, oh, okay, life's good. Of course, I don't know this for sure. You know, I'm not. They don't. They haven't sent me an email telling me that this is what they're doing. But well, get on to them. Tell me need a memo. Like, it just. I don't know. <laughs> it seems to make sense, really. If they don't commit, they've probably been caught before. That's logical explanation. Hook shot. Well, I know that's the biggest thing you hear from most cat fishermen there is catfish are not line shy. But so I saw a video, I forget who did it. I think it was kayak catfish, but he had live scope and he was talking about how he had bait suspended. He was looking at his live scope. He saw a fish come up, look at his bait, sit there for a few minutes, and then it went up about a foot and a half, looked at the sinker, turned around and left. <laughs> They're not supposed to have that kind of intelligence. I mean, supposed to and do is two different things. Oh, I, I hear mean, you. You know, as long as dude was being 100% honest about it, which I mean, I don't think he'd fib about something as basic as that, but watch me. It just kind of tells you. That's how gar feed. Yeah, gar too. But that didn't have any damage to it like it was gar teeth. It had, it did look like a tooth patch 
uh, might have been on the lower part of it where the gut pocket was. Now, that's another thing, cutting the gut pocket out and making a smaller profile bait. I've done that, too, and that does sometimes seem to help with, with that. Walker said that they're down there using knife and fork so they can cut precisely around your hook. That's turtles. So right. they hire turtles because they have those sharp <laughs> beaks to bite around the hook for them. Turtle, turtle. <clears throat> All right, so we're aiming for this coat. <coughs> so I used to not be able to drag in and out of this cove like yeah. this, this wide, because they had um, buoys saying, you know, um, no wake buoys. And they were so close, I couldn't drag through them. But I don't know, somebody stole them or they took them out or something. They ain't here no more. Well, so we're going to drag right back in this cove. I'll get my camera ready just in case there's any. Hey, there's footage. that there's that boat I told you free boat for you. Yeah, right. You just get it out of the. There's a little TLC. <laughs> a lot of TLC. <laughs> you thought the outside of my boat's dirty. <laughs> yeah, so we have for those that don't live up here, we have two boats on the Tennessee River that are just sunk, that are sitting on the bank. One's in this cove, and there's one way out yonder over there on the main channel. Just sitting on the bank, half of it sunk. I don't know if they're going to come get it or they're just going to let it sit there until... Claim salvage rights. Until something happens. I don't want to claim any rights. They might make me pay to remove it. <laughs> you, salvage it. You, you get it out of there. Uh, oh, let's go. Skipjack Cindy, hello. Lisa Elliott, hey, welcome in. Just going through, seeing if I missed anybody. Live in the bait store. Hi, y'all. Cindy, hello. Hello, Josh. Lisa Elliott says hi. People saying hi to her. Eighteen awesome people in here. Welcome in, everybody. Um, those of you that just came in. We are Dragon Baits on Chickamauga looking for some fish, and we are going to be out here during the eclipse because I want to know what happens. I want to know if fish start feeding more, if the bite dies. So we're going to be out here running a scientific experiment. PSA, don't look straight at the eclipse. You might go blind. Don't get in the pool and a half hour after you eat, you might drown. That's a lie. I know. That's why I said that right after the other one. <laughs> that's a lie. <laughs> that was said by parents to their kids so they could have some time to let the let the food settle and smoke their cigarettes and that kind of thing back in the yep. back in the day. That's what that was for. Yeah, it's kind of cloudy here too, Cindy. Um, I say most, eh, partly. You know, after you We've got you one clear sense. area over to the south, but to the west, north, and east, it's all clouds. Yeah. Uh, Lisa, what is your prediction? Will they bite? <sighs> we shall see. That's kind of, I mean, that's really the best answer is we shall see, because I really don't have any clue. Um I'm thinking that all of a sudden it getting dark in the middle of the day might fire them up. They might just be or like, oh, what's this? It might spook them or, around more. Yeah, it could spook them. That's what I figured, honestly. The darker fish will feed. Let's go back down. Wind got us kicked up. Now that the wind's coming from behind us, it's pushing yeah. the boat faster. Put yeah. your jake break on. 
no, no breaks like that. Actually, that's those are those that's are the drift what socks. That is, yeah. yeah, those are the drift socks. <laughs> those are my breaks. So we do already have one fish on the boat. So it is a catching show, not just a fishing show or a wishing show. Probably about 15, 20 minutes back, maybe 20, 30 minutes back. <laughs> maybe about two pounds. No, <laughs> dude, that was about 10 at least. I doubt that. That was about a sack of taters. <laughs> uh. Yeah, Dana yells at me because I underestimate the weights all the time. Like we had, we were we were in tournament last year, and it was biggest fish wins, right? So I'm like, why am I weighing these four or five pound fish? She's like, that's bigger than four or five pounds. We weighed it. It was. It was. She was right. <laughs> she wins. She was right. But yeah, I'm no longer allowed to guesstimate weights. <laughs> That privilege has been taken. Gotcha. Twenty awesome folks watching us catch fish on a Monday instead of working. You see how slow it went? Yeah. Snag. Yeah. We're in a very, very uneven. So it gets really super shallow over on this side of the boat. Gotcha. And it stays deep on this side of the boat. Um, <laughs> in fact, actually, we're going to start. You might notice a bunch of stuff starting to slowly go back because we're about to go over an old bridge. Yeah, so and yeah. the last time we did it, I didn't. we didn't lose anything, but everything was getting snagged and then coming out. Like, you see that blackboard? Yeah. That's a snack. Just see how slow it's going? Yeah. There it went. Yay. Oh, good. It didn't release the board. That's the biggest issue with snags is, I mean, losing your stuff, of course. Oh, well, yeah. But the board not releasing and then coming untagged. There it goes again. Yeah. So I like dragon because it comes puts you in around. front of more fish. No yeah, way. it's a snag. Praying it comes free. Oh man, we may uh -huh. have to go back and get that one. Yep. And but see, it released the board. Yeah. Dang it! What is going on with my mod? It keeps locking itself. That was a bobtail weight that didn't get snagged on the bottom. So once we get past this boat, yeah. we'll have to... 
get ready to turn around because it goes, it gets really, really shallow, really, really quick. Next time you guys see us out here, we're going to have some new rod holders on the boat because I've decided to go, to go ahead and go to multi-bar. Hey, there's cigarette floating. See, even the fish smoke. Decided to go to multi-bars. There's a what? A cigarette butt. Oh. <laughs> fish are down there smoking. <laughs> Smoking cigarettes and watching Captain Kangaroo. But yeah, we're going going to go to multi bars. Um, just can give me way more options than what we have right now. Had a couple folks drop off. Still got sixteen awesome people in here. We appreciate it. We're going to finish this drag out in this cove. If we don't get anything, well, even if we do get anything, we'll still turn around to this cove and uh, head to another spot because this will just be the end of this drag. We might go out and take the north side of this creek that we're in because I kind of stayed along the southern edge of it to come into this cove. We may go back a little bit and stay across the north side of it and go out around this corner. I don't know yet. May just head out to the main channel and... See if they're in on any flats that are next to the deep drop-offs. That was when I went out this morning looking. I didn't really see anything in the deep. They definitely didn't see to be on the ledge or on the bottom of the ledge. So I'm hoping they're on the flats above the ledge. And that'll be our next uh, our next adventure. Barbara said you're going to get all these girls to subscribe to you, too. No. About 15 or 20 of them. Appreciate it. <laughs> You've been a busy boy. Tell, tell them it's mandatory. They have to watch. <laughs> <laughs> Education. I can't call anything about me educational. Entertainment, maybe. Even when you're showing what not to do, it's still educational. Oh, there you go. Maybe that's what that's how not to catch catfish <laughs> like me. You know, I like that. That might have to be my next video I put out. Wait, so I can use this skunk video I had from a few weeks back and put it out there and be like, this how not to catch fish. <laughs> Sunday is one-third covered, maybe a quarter. Our sun is one-third covered. I don't know, man. What I was hearing up here, they were talking about on Chattanooga, we're in the 90 percentile over here. Um, yeah, on 90, 80 to 90 percent uh, sun covered is what they were saying on the news this morning. So, I don't know. If they're accurate like they are with their weather forecast, then who knows how much sun will be covered? 10 percent. <laughs> It just might miss us all together. <laughs> hey, I can't say anything about that. I do not mind that when they talk about, oh, there's horrible weather coming towards Ringgold and it just seems to go north and south of Ringgold. And leave us right around us. I got no problem with that. <laughs> of course, the one year we did get the tornado, it didn't split. No. But hey. No. So we may actually pull up a little earlier line because i just noticed there's people back in this cove on the bank fishing uh, and i don't yeah, want it. i don't want anything to get tangled up in their stuff right, right. so if we do take anything it'll be the two outside planer boards uh, um let me know. i will i will we could just you know never mind. that'd be me what just drag up all their stuff <laughs> yeah <laughs> no 
I used to I be that be bank that. guy, man. I'm nicer to bank guys than I am to anybody else. Just because I used that, that was me. Well, it used to get me when I was on the bank. Was those jet skis get out there and play right where I was fishing? Never oh, failed. Lake roaches. Yeah. Josh, where were you on the eclipse watching Catfish Hunters TV and building a bathroom? Yep. Ooh, that's a nice mark. Mm -hmm. About two foot off the bottom. <clears throat> and the wind's picking up again. really shocked that when we first got out here we heard construction going on over here but it's been quiet ever since <laughs> well, I have, well, <clears throat> you get weed eaters lawn mowers that kind of stuff you know all the time That Patriot rod, the tip of it just went bloop, like it got a hit. Come back, be serious. <laughs> Come back, we love you. Come on, baby, by my hook. <laughs> so I don't know if chat just slowed down or if I just can't see it anymore. If I can't see it, I apologize. Last thing I see is Josh. Trying to get better at reading chat for you guys. I swear it's swirling so bad. First it'll come from the south and the southeast. Southeast is fine because we're dragging into that. But the south tends to blow as opposed to the bank. Hello, Julian and Josie. Two of his daughters. Josh says we're doing great. And Dana says, yeah, the last one is Josh. Well, technically, the last one's you, sweetheart. Brunch. <laughs> da -da <-dum. laughs> I want to drop our speed down the wind picked up. It's like, nope. No, you're staying here. Josh, I think I scored them. I think I scared them off with tur turkey testicles. For Probably. Uh, Josh, man, you can't be running people out of my chat when I'm giving you free commercial time on my channel, man. <laughs> Thompson's outdoors and more. <laughs> $100 name drop, man. <laughs> <laughs> Dang, he know it's all lots of hundreds. Then. <laughs> you can pay me in uh, fresh, non frozen skipjack, though. Whoop, whoop, whoop. There you go. Fish on. Fish on taking drag. What you need? Uh, none. I just, I'm trying right. to get this to pop free and it's not. Oh, will you turn the camera a little bit? 
my phone. Just angle it towards me. There you go. Out of that other board. Oh, he's gonna get it. Yeah, he is. Normally, when they hit this far outside, when I can get him to drop straight behind the boat, he's in the he's in that line. I feel it rubbing on it now. Hopefully, we don't lose this fish. Well, maybe he's not. The board's mm -hmm. not moving like it. No. How? Grab the troller, uh, the troller motor control, and hit the right arrow twice. There you go. Hey, get the. Net. Yeah, get the net. I haven't seen him yet, but he's staying down. So, come on this side, this side now. Okay, so I'm gonna bring him up. I'm gonna bring him up and let him float back to you in the net. Okay, hold on. He's still he's being a crackhead. That's a cool. It's a nice, nice. Hold on, not yet, not yet. We don't want to lose him from the net. We'll let him. He's still fighting. Move the net, move the net, move it, move it. Sorry to yell at you like that, man. <laughs> Catch us no. Oh, that, move the net, move the net. He's he's frisky, dude. He <laughs> is frisky still. I'm gonna give him a little bit more slack. Let him play a little. Yeah. Decent fish. He's a little frisky still. So try to get him by the head. Yeah. Um, That's what I've been trying to do. Like he sees his runs. Pull out of the pull out of the now. Now. No, no, no. Perfect, man. Perfect. Give me the highest of fives, brother. Yeah, buddy. I'm sorry, guys. This is only going to be about a four-pound fish. I'm yeah. lying, of course. Yeah, right. All right, go ahead and take the net and put it back up. Oh, Lord. Ah! Hey, bitches. Just a small one, guys. Just a small one. All right, we're going to get a weight on this. Yeah, where's your... Oh! oh okay, that was my wrist. Oh. Did he break it? No, he didn't break it. He ain't big enough. We need to try again. All right, go down below the box that says scales. All right, see you. And I'm going to spot lock right here. We're going to have to bring everything in. Well, maybe not. I don't know. So if you use a waist sling, guys, always get your sling wet. Helps protect the, uh, there you go. Helps protect the coat. Um, go in the one that says Harrison, grab me the Mad Cat hat, because this is going to be, and I'm going to need you with your phone, please. Hey, somebody do me a favor. See what the Mad Cat's code is. I might put this one in. And then I'm going to come back and re-chat. Everything's all jacked up because I had to spot lock with this big fish. I just said it right there for right now. Mm. 
thing where I kind of almost wish it would gear up on this. I don't know. I may not enter it. It's not 50. What you got? It's not locking. There it goes. Watch your... Oh, I just, I'm going to show chat, and then I'm, I'm still going to do the video, I think. 47.98. Oh, we all twisted around here. Yeah. Okay, will you shoot a video for me? Uh, let me see if somebody got me the Mad Cat's code. Go ahead back up the house. Yeah. Anybody got the Mad Cat's go code? I think it's like 1066 or something. Oh, man, this is a mess. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think it's 1066. Does anybody have it? It should be pinned, honey. I'm pretty sure they pinned the scale, the weight. Now watch where you're hitting. I know what I'm. I think it's 1066. Oh my goodness, it is a bad mess. Mm -hmm. Will you? Not pinned. Start, yeah, start reeling stuff in. Reeling that blue rod first, please, Tim. Oh, well, I don't want to keep this fish out. I guess I'm not going to do this one. Oh, 10.99. 10.99. Thanks, Bob. I really appreciate it. All right, Tim, if you don't mind. You real quick. All right, so we are going to do the Mad Cats for this week. We have our scale zeroed out. I'll put it up there. I'm going to weigh the fish and then I'll weigh the scale. <sighs> Locked in at 47.82. Got my Mad Cat hat on. It was caught right here on the Blue Ghost. Show the Blue Ghost rod. It's caught right here on the Blue Ghost rod. And uh, 1099. And here's the fish. And we're going to let the fish swim away. So I can catch it this summer. And he is out of here. Oh, let me keep it, keep it rolling. Keep it rolling. Gotcha. All right, so 47.82 minus 
that's it. That's it. You can end it now. Thanks. Eh, I doubt that'll get third place, but it might. Yeah, I had the hat on my head. Had the beanie on, honey. Good. Yeah, I'll have you send that to me in a little bit. Not worried about it right this minute. You want it on text or email? Uh, probably email because it'll come through a better quality. All right, y'all, we were about to the end of our drag anyway, so I'm going to go ahead and reel everything up in the drag here. We're not ending the live, of course, and we're going to go reposition. We may redrag this, co not the cove itself, but the creek, but be on the north side of the creek instead of the south side like we were at, or like we were on. This whole creek is several hundred feet wide so we're, we don't hit it all in one drag um so yeah we might do that next but stick around while tim and i get stuff reeled in um and get get all that done so i'm gonna be out of uh chat actually let me go back through chat real quick before we do all this fish easy john Calling on turkey testicles. No, it wasn't. Fishing fever. Hey, Austin. Yeah, you did come at the right time. Bob, this has been my spot well before you. Austin, Bob, hi, hi, Austin, hi. Sitting in the hospital waiting on a baby boy to be born. Glad someone's fishing. Well, congratulations, man. Thanks for the nice fish comment. Not pin 1099. Where branch? Nope, this isn't where branch. Or are you telling me to go to where branch? Because I really don't want to have to go that far up, up river. Tell Walker to text and make a comment about that fish now. He did already. Hold on. <laughs> He did already. Whoa. Video is too large. Can't send it to you. An email? An email or text or anything. Have you what? got a, have you got Dropbox? We'll deal with it after we're fishing. I hear you. Or once we get everything fixed and, and stuff. Will you uh huh. I'm trying to get the boat. The wind just kind of took us. Start reeling something in? Well, let me get the boat more heading the right direction. Maybe the lines will separate out a little bit. We can see what's yeah. what. I don't know about that. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I normally don't ever spot lock when I'm bringing in a fish, but because that was such a, a decent size one. and All right, let me... Uh... You got these over here to wood. Okay, real that one. Uh, go green. Go green. Go green. And yeah. let me have that one. You well, you take the green one and go over the top of this one. You know, I just shouldn't be back under. It should just be over the top. Hold on. Why do I see three boards but only two rods that are still out? Yeah, that's a good question. I guess, hold on. Be very slow with this because we probably 
had a board come off. And I don't want to have to go chase a board. Well, I mean, we are drilling, and I guess I can chase a board. I need to. Now it's wrapped around it. The lines got locked in and it must have just come off one and gotten on the other. Yeah. Watch that board. Go ahead and like put the hook in an eye. Uh, or something just so it's not flopping around because we're going to move and I don't want to one of us to catch a hook somewhere you know They got caught up at once. Had to, had to swap somehow. Came off the line. It was on and hooked onto another. That's luck. <laughs> That's actually crazy. Yeah. <laughs> that is definitely crazy. All right, I'm ready to fill the window in my beard. All right, guys, I'm going to mute for a minute. Hey, Big Mike, uh, we just caught a 44. I guess it would be after the uh, sling. Uh, but we're getting ready to do this drags over, so we're getting ready to go to our next spot. I'm going to mute. I know it's loud with my motor, but there you go, guys. Free boat. Uh, hey, Dustin. Welcome in, man. Um, rewind it maybe five minutes. You'll see what's biting. We've had two today so far, and we're making a move, so I'm on mute again.
Thanks, Dustin. Yeah, it was pretty decent fish. Yeah, definitely get it tar papered before the rain gets here, Josh. Get in the dry. That's still got blood in it. The head's still good. We may not need to. Okay. The water temps are still kind of cold, you know what I mean? Right. So to me, it seems like the, the blood stays in the bait a little better when it's cold. Just what I've kind of figured out and noticed. Right. I could be wrong. Sitting, I'll go ahead and start feeding love. Came out and caught a fishy. Yep. <laughs> you know, so it's a good one to go away. Yeah. Most of where y'all would. I thought so. I thought they said around 130, but I don't know. I work for Signature Vapors, not NASA. Right, bro. Schnasa. <laughs> Let me check my speed. I may have to pop up a little bit more. That board doesn't look like it's pulling. It ain't going nowhere yet. Yeah, it's not. We were only going point two. That's why. All right, I got to speed our speed up a little bit. All right, go ahead and flip over to this side. I'll work on that one while I'm getting the next one out. So we came back to the same creek. We're just on the north side of it. I did, uh, just come back over here. Guys, I'll be right back with chat as soon as we get everything out. Yeah. 
All right, go ahead and bring, uh, lock that orange one down now, please. And do me a favor, gently work that drift sock out. Uh, here, I'll take this out. Yeah, I may have you Bluetooth that to me. You should be able to Bluetooth it. Yeah, Bluetooth files. It's probably too small to make third place, but go and let the orange one out a little bit more. Are you letting that out still? Save the orange one. I meant the orange cleaner board, boss. Oh, not the orange one. I'm going to let the last one. So when I talk colors, I usually talk board colors. Yeah. So you know, this is a little easier for you to. All right, that should be good on that side. That should lock down that side. That's like, it's a long way up. Okay. Uh, so that's good. Yeah. Should be. Uh, we can get by this green buoy with that black one. See it right there? Yeah, I see it. Can you crack it on in a little? Yeah, go ahead and reel on it a little bit, slowly. And then when you stop, it should go back behind the boat a little bit. All right, that's good. Look at how big that skipjack is. Right. Excuse my leverage. Two point eight pounds, that's all. It's not that big. For a skipjack, yeah. You somebody caught like a four something the other day. Really? Yeah. body chunk because I know for sure that big fish did not come off ahead because I still have the heads. Right. I heard you getting up. I thought something was happening. Out. No. Huh? <laughs> there you go. Oh, is it turned still? A little bit.
sometimes that first chunk behind the head, man, can catch some monsters. Oh, I hear you. Will you go ahead and let the yellow board out a little bit? Gotcha. Not much. So I don't know where everybody's at, but at least here in Tennessee, I don't see nothing happening that's supposed to be an eclipse yet. Thought I heard it was supposed to start around 13145, but we're not seeing that. Of course, I guess it could be starting just on the edge and you really wouldn't notice unless you got some of them special glasses. Yeah, I could have got some in with the truck stop. The only bad part of it is, at the truck stop, they want 15 times the price. Jeez. Yeah, Dana was telling me some vape shop in Chattanooga was selling like a two for six or something like that. Truck stops have a captive audience. Yeah, because that's about the only place you ain't seen where to be. No, no, we go to Walmart. You're if captain, they let us. You're definitely a captain. All right, let's see what Chad has to say. Pick up our speed of hair because we were in 1.4 while I was getting everything out. Three to three thirty here, Bob said. I don't know, man. It uh the weatherman this morning was acting like it's gonna be earlier, so I don't know, man. They don't they don't know nothing. You know, like they say, oh, it's only gonna be blowing blowing the light and variable and then we get out here and it's blowing 25 mile an hour gusts. Gale force winds, yeah. All right, let me go back and chat. Make sure I didn't miss nobody. All right here, Dustin went back, nice fish, saw that bathroom cutting slopes and listening well, well i appreciate you tuned in mike bro we were sitting there watching you guys fish saturday mike if you can hear me and when you went to cast that 14 footer i looked at dana i was like watch he's about to throw that thing three quarters of the way across the river <laughs> And I'm not gonna lie, I was also like, look, there's my there's my uh there's my fifty. Yeah, Mike C eight fifty he has on that fourteen footer came from me. And I swear that man throws that thing like two miles. Okay, maybe not two miles, but two football fields, easy. Watch them cast that thing up in uh, Wolf Teaver. And it was just like, geez, talk about launching the bait. <coughs> Little over 100 yards, 10 ounce weight, and a big skip head. Well, it seemed like more than that. At least that day you were up at uh, Wolf Teaver when you first got it. I like what we saw there at the dam. Casting all the way to the wing wall. Oh, he says he can hit the wing wall. That don't surprise yeah. me. You don't, you don't have a fishing rod. You got a rocket launcher. <laughs> I sent him a I sent him a gif of this person using probably a thirty foot long. Um, Cane hole. <laughs> I was like, I bet you cast real far with this. <laughs> He's like, dang, that's the biggest cane hole I think I've ever seen. Yeah. All right, that big fish bit about 0. 0.5, 0. 0.6. So that's where we're going to try to maintain 
our speed, speed right around five and six. Now, funny, did you see how gently he took the board back compared to that little sun gun you caught? Oh, yeah. Isn't that weird? He was trying to snake away. He said he can cast over the wing wall with the 14 footer. You hear me, Tim? Uh -huh. Yeah, over the wing wall. Yeah, uh. yeah when uh, I first started catfishing with Tim, we went up to the dam and there was this guy there. I mean, he had a spinning rod, I don't know, 12 foot. But he was laying it right next to the wing wall every time he cast. I just, I was amazed. I ain't gonna lie. And he wasn't doing that that stuff you see the Europeans do when they do the distance casting where they're like where they're like trying to grab the pendulum of the weight and catch it at a certain time and then throw it. No, nah, the dude was just had it sitting there. Bing! Kind of like Mike does. But yeah, I've seen some people like try to get the pendulum and Around 325. That was a San Antonio, Texas area. We'll see totality at around 135 uh, Central Time, upstate New York. That situation will occur around 325. Well, I know so it'll be later were, in the day before we see it. Well, I know what they were saying was it would take probably about two hours to go from the start to total. Right. Totality. Um. So that's why I didn't know if maybe we'd start seeing it up here before, because, yeah, I, I don't know. Yeah, Josh, Mike, man, I think Mike won that casting contest, too, at the uh, gathering last year. And he did that with a seven-foot a seven foot, um, double Y rod from FOA Customs and Gear. Get your weight up with stand three. <laughs> But yeah, I think that was, I'm pretty sure that was like a five or a six foot rod. And I'm pretty sure he won the distance casting with that rod. So Mike knows how to sling a man. A friend of mine is selling his 14 Mad Cats. He wanted a 10. Now, I don't have any use for a 14 foot on this boat. It's where it'd go from almost tip to tail. <laughs> Not really, because it's a 22 foot boat, but still. Heck, I got an 11 and a 12 footer at the house. Six foot rod, 312 feet. He cast it. Dustin, hold on. Let me go back up. Dustin, headed back to work, done with his break. Hey, man, hope you enjoyed your break. Glad you stopped in and uh, caught a little fishing and you were able to go back and see a little piggy getting caught. Thanks for tuning in, man. Tell them I'll trade Josh. Yeah, Josh. Uh, yeah, Mike has some 10 footers. That is a heck of a cast, honey. My cat's four 10 foot mad cats. <clears throat> I mean, his primary, he is that he is a bank guy. Yeah. You know, I'm technically a boat guy. I do have some big ones, surf rods for trips to the coast or if I do on the bank, but. Well, that's why I told you not to bring your rods is because I already have had everything set up for Dragon and you'd have to, you know, redo everything for Dragon because 
Yeah, I have strip all the line off my rods. Yeah, that is old, is years old, so it definitely needs to be changed. All right, keep an eye on the rods. I've got to, uh, I'm going to dip underneath and fill up my cup with some sweet tea. Yeah, that's, that's something you, I didn't see you bring a drink with you, bro. I didn't. There is some water bottles down here. Uh, you drink one, I mean, I don't mind sharing my sweet tea with you. It's not ghetto sweet tea. It's not diabetes. No, it's definitely not diabetes. Oh. Thermos is still on the old truck. I brought some coffee with me. Yeah, that's the one thing I can't do on the boat. Coffee? Yeah. Why? Because I'll spend more time running to find a dagbum lap bathroom than fishing. <laughs> I don't know why coffee does that to me. Plus, you know, I only drink coffee when the weather's under like 40. You know, I drink coffee yeah, year I round. I know. 100 degrees what, outside, I'm sipping back coffee. And that's me with my sweet tea. It could be negative 50 and I'm going to have a glass of iced tea. Still going to have coffee. I'll have some coffee in the morning when I first get up. But after that, give me my iced tea. Mike, Daniel, and I come to the Chick Dam Wednesday and Sunday to get bait for the store. I might have to come up Wednesday after work. I don't know, because that's when I'm supposed to be getting my uh, my multi bars. So I might have to, I might not. Or I might, I don't know. I need to need bait for this weekend. I might wait till Friday when it's blowing 30 miles an hour to try to cast for bait. That sounds fun. I think once we get up here closer to the shore, we'll get out of this wind and it'll stop blowing us further up. But, but we're going to track over the same spot where Dana got the 49, where I got the 51. I mean, we've had a lot of 40s come come off this, this point where we're going to go across here in a few. What are you doing Wednesday? Is your lawyer calling you or you got to go see him? Oh, well, hopefully, uh, hopefully he'll talk to me tomorrow. Um, find out about all this, get signed, and take possession of the truck finally. Get back out on the road. It won't be quite that quick, but I still have to lease it on to the, uh, the CRO. 13 people watching. I appreciate y'all staying in here. When you could be standing outside getting blinded by the eclipse. <laughs> still have to get it cleaned up, still have to fuel it, get a uh, tear weight on the tractor. Oh, so you know what it automatically sits at? Well, I know what the tractor sits at. I'm figuring it's going to be around 17 tons. 17, 18 tons, something like that. The wind just shot us up to point eight real quick. That sounds good. Noticed all the boards were pulling way out. And I was like, oh, we might be going a little fast.
So I know, know most people in here know about the gathering in May, but if you don't, there's a three day weekend in May that we all get together, um, us local YouTubers, and we put on a meet and greet called the gathering. It's uh, free that you guys can come out and meet us and um, we have free food and stuff like that. There's also a fishing tournament that three day weekend that's free to enter. Um, longest fish, I think it pays 100, then 500, then 250 for second and third. I know that, well, wait, longest fish pays 1,000. And then I think, yeah, it's 500 and then 250. But if you have YouTube you can, or uh, Facebook, I'm sorry. If you have Facebook, you can go on and look up the gathering. And you'll be able to find the uh, Facebook page for it. And that'll tell you who's sponsoring it, what companies, who's... Uh, you can almost guarantee any of us sponsoring it, we're going to be there. This year, last year, we sponsored the soda portion of it. This year, we are, I, I'm smoking some pork butts. <laughs> so, Bobcat and I are going to be uh, doing some uh, pulled pork. Smoked wackles? Huh? Smoked wackles? Yes, yeah, smoked waggles. She's not watching, so she, he's like, yeah, I know. That's why I can say it here. Not <laughs> That's right. It. So my brother's wife has a pet pig and they named it Waggles. And I said, well, hey, when Waggles gets big enough, that sounds like some pulled pork. That's what I said. She tells me I can't eat the pet. Yeah, she won't let him do it. Thanks, honey, for sharing that link to the gathering from Facebook. Finally got back down to doing 0.5. And the wind's going to kick up and make us go 0.7 again. <laughs> Dude, that is the biggest struggle dragging. Just dealing with the wind, man. And then it's going to gust. Hopefully you guys can't hear that because I do have a wind guard on my mic. No, it's a wasteland. Got 15 awesome people in here. Mine are better. Huh. I mean, we'll see, Bob. I make I make the pretty let's put it. <laughs> I'm about to diss myself. I'm better on the smoker than I am on the boat. I'm definitely better at barbecuing than I am fishing. have a fishing booth for prizes at the gathering. Yep, and the prizes are turkey testicles and chicken beak. Charlie Gar uh, Cherry chicken beak. And turkey giblet gravy. <laughs> Giving out free bait, natural and flavored. <laughs> So every time you move your hand from where it's sitting, I hear it, and I think a rod's going down. You're about running to a rod. <laughs> yeah, one time this I had this fool was sleeping, and because we used to bank fish, we had bells, and I, I he's sleeping, and I went and rang a bell by his ear. He's like, "What? What? what bike? Where? Where fish? What? What?" <laughs> yeah, he did. I wasn't sleeping no more the rest of the day. Let's 
folks. Uh, 14 folks in here. I appreciate it. It's fighting the wind a bit. Hopefully you get back on, uh, get back straight and hit exactly where I'm trying to go. I had the trolling motor cocked sideways to counteract for the wind, and then the wind stopped, and we started making a hard turn. <laughs> <laughs> Mama Nature left you today. I was talking, actually talking with James about that, about how uh, being baby, I think, makes it easier to drive the boat with the little boats after driving those 300 foot boats. Because you got to learn to adjust for the wind in those, because mm -hmm. they will yell at you. Your heading is blah, blah, blah. You may have to be five degrees off that heading to stay on that heading because of current or wind. Yeah, I've not seen a Jody or a Cool Cats in here. We'll have to give them trash for not watching them alive. Of course, Jody would just be in here sleeping. Cool Cats of the dust. Solar winds whipping around the moon, smacking us. Huh. Hey, I think we're at. I think it's starting. I think it's starting. The moon, the sun looks a little weird up there. Don't look directly at I it. Doesn't it look like there's almost something in front of it? Oh, no, way. It's on the southern side of it. Oh, it makes it. Angle scare look at it. My eyes twitching. Uh oh, I can't see. Call 9 11. See, you shouldn't have looked either. It made you forget the number. Come on, wind. Just die down for about half hour until I get next to this land, and then you can do whatever you want to do. Yeah, you can tell how bad it's blowing because of that line that's supposed to be straight out the back. It's hanging out to the left. boat sideways. You don't see anything there? Hmm? What are you supposed to be able to tell by his? The hole. darker out here. I ain't going to be sitting there looking up bright, but I mean, I'm not. <clears throat> I know it probably don't mean much to anybody else, but I bet the CB's going nuts right now. Solar activity activates stronger signals. Oh, does it? Yeah. Hey, what's up, Stan3? Caught a 44 a little while ago, then had another one before that. So far, only two. Fighting the wind, but that's normal in April on the Tennessee River. Already covered Zation MX. I'm not sure what that is, Josh. 
got some kind of flavored something again. Supposed to blow today. I think it's kind of fishy. It ain't blowing. No, that's sucky. Yeah. But no, they were talking about the wind wasn't going to be any more than four or five miles an hour until about five, six o'clock tonight. Again. But you were talking about solar flares and stuff like that. You'd have fun talking to James. He apparently watches solar flares and he's trying to link bad fishing with solar flares. Oh, it went through Mexico. Won't be chatting much, eating, but watching. Mama is napping. Yeah, even if she hadn't had the baby yet, you definitely got to gotta take a nap when you can. Mm. Watch, Austin's going to have a baby during the uh, eclipse, and it's going to be the super Amish baby. <laughs> Sorry, uh, Austin, I had to. So Austin's got this big beard and bald head, and everybody calls him Amish and Quaker. And, yeah. Ain't been wrong having a big beard. I said that to Dana. I was like, Tim walked in the babe shop. I didn't recognize him. He had, like, almost a ZZ Top beard. Yeah, it ain't that big. I said almost. I'll try it again. I don't think I've here. ever seen you with a beard that long in the all the years. So, like I said, I'll, I'll try it again come January. Maybe. A lot of work goes into growing it for a full year. People think just let it grow. Oh, you got you gotta make it. Super Amish baby, I love it. <laughs> Solar eclipse baby. <laughs> Austin, you are about to have the next great James River cat fisherman being born. You need to come up with you need to come up with an epic name. Like Spanky or something. <laughs> huh? Born during the eclipse, it'll be a demigod. A demigod. Hercules of fishing. Hercules, Hercules. You got to raise that boy to beat Stan 3 in fishing. <laughs> Damn good to be able to reel in great white, great whites on a brim rod. <laughs> great whites on a brim rod with two pound test. That's it. Real finesse there. I, somebody asked me. That's the other one. I'm not fishing. I'm not fishing the finesse because I'm not re-rigging every rod I have with two and four pound test. Just not doing. Could you imagine how much two and four pound test one of these big ass reels I have could hold? <laughs> you probably some fish would get away. A thousand. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you'd be tying spools together. Shoot, probably more than a thousand because it holds three hundred some yards yeah. of forty. Yeah, those big ones do. Yeah. You wouldn't even know how to tie a line that little. I mean, I deal with it with when we go bluegill fishing, but you're right. I don't like messing with line that little. You can't feel it no more. Can't feel it. Can't hardly see it. I got a little little magnifying glass that's got a light on it, so I can <laughs> hold it up behind. It. Yeah, dude. Fly rod set up. Just can't see no more. Getting old. Like I said, fly rod hook up. Just tie a hook on the line. This wind's got us all jackered up. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, we should actually have been coming into this, like I said, about 50 foot over that way. Straight down. Now I'm coming in at an angle with the nose of the boat one way, the butt of the boat the other way. We're stealth. We're sneaking up on them. You know, I got a question for you, chat. I know there's only 13 in here, but I'm still going to ask. Have y'all ever been out and had just either one side of the boat get all the bites or one rod so there's a there's a video i have out where dana and i fished the whisker cup so it's the whisker cup recap and every fish that day was caught on one rod we caught six fish it all came on the same rod what's funny it was on boards one time the rod had a board that was the furthest out board it caught a fish the same rod then was the inside board, caught two fish, caught that big, her biggest, the 49 pounder. Um, but yeah, and then during Kings of the Tennessee River, we had all our bites came off all the rods on this side of the boat. Nothing came on on the other side. All Everything came off this side of the boat. Cindy, is it getting dark? I mean, it seems, I mean, I'm wearing sunglasses. It seems like it's getting a little darker out here. I can't notice anything. Josh says he can't see. Cindy said always. So I guess she's always getting that too. Mike said no. Josh says he can't see. Well, you shouldn't have been looking at it, man. That's what you get for looking directly into the sun. Only James can look, only cool cats can look in the sun and live. You are staring into the heart of the nuclear explosion. Come on, wind stop for another little bit. I'm almost by this to the land. 16 awesome folks in here watching us try to catch fish. Ooh, I hope we don't catch. See, that's what I was worried about with it blowing us. We go, that back rod may, we may have to bring everything up and, uh, go back and get it if it does. Yeah. What's funny is when we started, we were so far away from that, it wouldn't have even come close to it. I know. I mean, hey, we were, we were on, over there. on that side. Yeah, yeah. I do. We're getting a straight wind from the south. Not much I can do about it.
drop landed on my pupils and I'm blinded. Yeah, that's a uh, nuclear powered uh, raindrop from the sun. Yeah, man, it's crazy how bad this wind blew us. <laughs> Actually, we have not marked anything in a minute, so it blew us out of the creek. But I am working back towards it right now. So. No, they're saying it is darkening right now. Yeah, that's what I say. It seems, it just feels like it's getting dark out here. Watch surface. You're a small circle. I don't see it. Yeah, I hear him coming. But I was like, I called the cops on you, John. I guess he heard the sirens in the background, too. Kerrville, Texas is in total darkness. Well, if nobody's ever been to Kerrville, Texas, it should stay in total freaking darkness. <laughs> For fishing my spot. I'm not bumping, Bob. I'm not below the damn bumping. Anyway, I'm only attempting to fish your spot because the wind's blowing. <laughs> uh, I see nothing. The eclipse is starting and the world is falling apart. I hear all the sirens. Welcome to the apocalypse. Where's the zombies? I feel cheated. Oh, you catch them. <laughs> yeah, I couldn't even imagine trying to be out on that ledge out in the middle of this. We would definitely not be on the ledge. <laughs> It's definitely starting. If you glance at it, you can see like a, a circle out of the bottom of it. Don't burn your eyeballs now. I don't see it. I just glanced, but I ain't gonna sit there and go, hmm. Yeah. Well, yeah, it definitely seems like it is starting. Definitely feels like it's getting dark out here compared. I almost want to take my sunglasses off. Yeah, take your sunglasses off, Tim, and just look at the water. You can just tell it's dark out here oh, yeah, it's... compared to what it was. Yeah, it's happening. The cloud might have something to do with it. But... Oh, the cloud's over here. The sun's up yonder. I ain't looking at the sun. You go ahead. Why did my phone just vibrate? Huh, don't see a message. Hmm. 
message. Background notification. All right, we have finally got close-ish to the land, and I still feel wind, so never mind. <laughs> Wonder if everybody's seen the weather for Friday, blowing 20 to 30. Hopefully it doesn't stick around Saturday when we're all trying to fish that veterans tournament. The fish at thon. Hey, we're back marking stuff. That's a nice mark. It's like, oh, you were marking? Let me blow again. <laughs> Yeah, right, right where those pylons start is where we catch most of our big fish. But like I said, I can't even get over there with this one right now. Right. No, well, them over fishing too. Well, they wouldn't have been there. They just pulled up. We'd actually be going through there right now. exited the chart and now it's trying to reload it. I don't know why I'm having a lot of troubles with this head unit. It's the newest one on the boat and it gives me the most problems. There we go. Yeah, see this is where I was wanting to be the entire time. Well, technically, I was trying to have those three boards there and then these right above it. Yeah. Because the hump starts gradually going up over there. Right. That I was talking about. Yeah, that shocks me. It won't let you email me that file. It's too big. Yeah, look, it, it freaked out again. I don't know what's going on with that unit, man. It's the eclipse. About to be down to one unit. Well, it's been doing that before the eclipse happened, so can't blame that on the eclipse. Yeah, it's definitely getting dark out here now. Now that that sun has gone in front, the clouds have gone in front of the sun. All right. All seven rods bury at once. Right. <laughs> Dude, I wouldn't know what to do. <laughs> I wouldn't either. Oh. Yeah, I see. It's a really big mark. Yep. You just 
see it here. Hey. Right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, you can definitely see it now that the clouds got a cloud diffuser. Easy. I wonder if that was a snag. That's Probably. There's nothing snag over here, though. Oh, yeah. It's, it's like almost all the way gone now. Yeah, you can definitely tell with it behind the cloud how much it's done it. Ah, that was guard. Yep. Clean the hook. That had to be guard. Well, yeah, I guess it could have been a catfish that short hit it, but I'm still selling the guard. That would have been yours anyway. Why did you have me run to it? Because I was looking at something I shouldn't have. Oh. That was still a nice hit though. I was paying too much attention to the cosmic event. You were doing what your wife told you not to do. Yep. <laughs> I mean, we're guys. Do we ever listen? Nope. <laughs> Can't see it at all now. Oh, yeah, definitely can't see anything with the cloud. Nope. Yeah, Bob, if you're still in here, man, you need to talk Brandon into using quick release clips, man, instead of those ones you guys have to unrelease, I swear. That's why y'all are losing fish. Either Jeff, that or Jody on. snuck down and put rubber hooks on. For John. Him. What? Look. Hold on, give me a second. He's going to Huh? What? What, are you, what am I pointing at? Your uh, depth fighter here. Oh. He's scrolling back some of the... Oh, just marks? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, hopefully we get some bites. We are 22 foot, so we are a little shallower. Nice. Get back up here to read chat. I use him, he doesn't. So I only use the green ones on the spread and planer boards because I had some. The ones I really, really like are the orange quick releases from offshore uh, planer boards. The only problem is, for some reason right now, it's like 20 bucks for a pair of them. And I'm not doing that. Not when I got them a couple of years ago for like five bucks each. I'm not spending double. Um, so, yeah, I use the green ones now. And actually, I've been pretty impressed with the green ones. Can't say anything bad about the green ones. They seem to hold uh, mono really, really well. Yeah, and that might be why he uses the... Uh, in all fairness, that might be why he used, doesn't use quick release. 
because I do notice the quick releases come out a lot easier on braid than I use braid on some of Damien. He likes the smaller reels. Um, all right, start making this turn. Shish, what? Shish, shishigar steaks? Catch me a gar, make shishigar steaks. Ah. They work until you have to free a snag. So the orange ones, and this is why I like the orange ones a lot, is because, hold on, give me a second. Let me, let me talk with him. Okay. So the orange ones have a, a spring inside the clip that you can move from front to back and that gives you tension um so even if you have a snag and it pops free from the snag it doesn't release the board um the green ones sometimes do but that's kind of the what i've noticed about them that's why i like the orange ones so much better is because you can set the amount of pressure you want on that clip. All right, what were you showing me? Well, I think I'll be playing a trip either Greenland or Iceland soon. Why don't you go to Russia? Why don't you go to Russia? No, thank you. Go to Spain, fish for whales, catfish. In fact, talk me and Dana into going with you guys. <laughs> Why? I don't like to fly, but I can find some drugs to take and fly. <laughs> you got a boat, we can go. We are not taking this boat to Spain, bro. <laughs> Tim, 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 that's Tim. it. That's it. Oh, got it. Fish on, chat. Don't give random yanks. I don't want you to rip it out of his face. Go. I got you. <laughs> Lots of marks right here. That board's free. Yep. You good? Yeah. Okay, I see it. It's on top of the water. Go under. Try to keep him out of that. Yeah. Uh, Hold on, don't put that in there just yet. <laughs> Here, take this and go and hook your fish. Yeah. So, Walker, if you're still in here. Oh, he said you're not. Well, this is one of the hooks. This is the Aurora from Nocturnal Nation I like. It's not the pig sticker that I love, but I do like this one. Yeah, uh -huh. curl up her. A little bad. Yeah. Not bad at all. No. Nice little fish. It's fish. All right. That was another one on the body chunk. I think I'm going to go ahead and cut one more body chunk. I'm going to use that head, but... 
think we'll just go with what's catching them right this minute. Hope it's starting to come out from behind the clouds. Don't blind yourself. Yep. Blinded on a Monday afternoon. Didn't listen to my wife. Got blind way too soon. Oh. All right, another fish. I catch one more like it'll leak with that one you go. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I was hoping it was gonna be another big one. Yeah, that's, that's a nice I, mark. Look on the screen. I seen. That one's a little too high up though for me to really buy that as uh, catfish. Yeah. But catfish do feed in the water column. Oh yeah. Oh, actually. <laughs> So, Bob, if you can see, this is what I'm talking about. There's a little spring inside here, and how I have it all the way forward gives me more pressure on this clip. You got to, like, press it hard to get it to come out. It's uh, Chickamauga cockroaches. Yep. <laughs> I guess he's going to come do dances in front of my boat. They're saying uh, five more minutes will be at the uh, maximum here. Huh. See, it looks like it's less than what it was in the clouds when we're looking at it now. Because it's back in the clouds, so I can look at it again. Yeah. I was just buying them clouds, just diffused. I don't want to get divorced because I'm looking at the eclipse. <laughs> it's all right. You'll have never seen it coming. <laughs> Dad jokes. <laughs> <laughs> and speaking of her, it's getting dark here. Yeah, it's dark all out here. I didn't weigh it, Josh. It, could, it was probably a teenager. So 17, you might have been pretty close. 15, 17. Green Eclipse in Illinois. Dude, if we have a green eclipse, then I'm going to believe the world's ending. <laughs> if it's green. Just the way the light's hitting the atmosphere, John. It's science. All right, 13 awesome people still in here. Appreciate y'all being in here. Yeah, August 12th, 2026. I'm going to try and be a nice. And the DOT, anytime they pull me into a skeleton. Not house, muted anymore. They can search whatever they want. Yeah, I know. Oh, so when you pull in a scale house, they can just randomize drug test you at yep. that point in time if they want to? Yep. Oh, okay. I did not know that. I knew they, they could search to truck. Typically, they and won't. Stuff. They, they need suspicion, but at the same time, they do have the authority. <laughs> 
uh, some people claim it's implied consent. It's actually due to the federal regulations. My buddy Tim's about to become an owner operator. So I was asking him some of the finer questions about that kind of stuff. They can inspect your truck at any time they want. They have to have specialized stuff for, you know, specialized reasons, shall we say, for going through your personal possessions. But if it's on the truck, they can search it. Well, we caught one fish during the eclipse, so at least one fish wanted to eat while the sun was disappearing. So we caught two before the eclipse, one during the eclipse. Nope. Don't look right now. I'm not going to look right now. Clouds ain't moved far enough yet. Give it a little bit. As he walks out there, stare straight up. What? <laughs> what a... It's actually back there. I was telling the camera because they didn't know where I was looking. <laughs> no, John, don't do it. Like I said, I don't, I, I don't want to, I don't want to make the life mad. No. <laughs> I told you not to look at it. Now you're blind. You think I want to take care of you? You can't even drive a boat. You can't bait a hook now. You're useless to me. You can bait a hook. <laughs> you, you can still bait I a hook. I bait a hook and put the hook in my hand. What's <laughs> that? What's what? I don't, I don't know, point. some building, some something that's washed up on the bank over the years and just sat there. Just a little, little shack. Now, there's a little shack over by Suck Creek. I mean, I'm talking that's all it probably had to have been way back in the day. Yeah. It was an old fishing shack. But the docks have fallen apart. The shack looks like if, it, if you sneeze inside, it collapse on your head. But... It's like near really great fishing. You know, it's by Suck Creek. Right. I was joking with Daryl when we were out fishing. I'm like, I'm going to go squat in that. I'm going to be a squatter. <laughs> I don't agree with squatting, but for that piece of uh, shack on the river, I'm squatting. <laughs> All right. Carbondale, Illinois is in total darkness. Not yet. We're not getting total darkness. No. I think we've had no, it. We it's getting brighter. My eyeballs say it's getting brighter than what it was. Yeah. So I think we're done. And we're moving into total Brightness. sunlight. Yeah. <laughs> Back to Mr. Sun saying hi. She said, LOL, when I was sitting there saying all that about camp beta hook and all that stuff. I'm useless now. <laughs> like I said, you can still bait a hook. Don't you find out there with it. I'm not trying to be bait. <laughs> to say, emergent care would love you. <laughs> I think I know it was going into me before I got past the barb. <laughs> oh. Well, and since we did say thumb, the nail would probably, the bone and nail would probably stop too much from going in. John, have you met you? Do you know your luck? Yeah, I know my luck. I'm the one that says if not for bad, I wouldn't have any. She cast you right out there until you flop a little. <laughs> Make some noise. <laughs> I do have to say, I, I, I did get lucky with love. Oh, yeah. It took freaking forever. <laughs> we joke all the time about how we wish we would have met each other years and years ago. But I told her, I was like, I don't know if you would have liked the me I used to be. Hey, I made sure you said that same conversation. Wish I'd have met her years ago, but she would not have liked who I was.
I mean, I'm just happy I found her. It took freaking forever, but I'll enjoy however long we have together until it's over. Because well, if say, this honestly, falls apart, I ain't never. With, with, <laughs> mine, with mine and Sherry's relationship, when it first started, never. she tried to keep it quiet. And she didn't realize that small community she lives in, she was the last one to know that everybody knew. You know, and I said that to Dana in the beginning about let's keep it quiet. And that's just because of the vape thing and being so big in the vape community and having people cause issues with relationships in the vape community mm -hmm. before. Because they're just all a bunch of drama starting, not like here in fishing. <laughs> Nobody in fishing starts any drama. Daryl Morris. Um, <laughs> but, uh. Yeah, I was like, I just, I think in the beginning, because I had that issue. People people trying to message exes, telling them I'm talking to somebody when I wasn't. So, yeah, I thought it would be just wise because of other issues. Ooh, that's a nice mark on the bottom. Mm -hmm. You know, Indianapolis is another one of those that's always in the dark anyway. Andy's not a bad town. Have you ever driven? You've probably driven there. Uh, Have you ever driven there? there? One of our plants is there. Dude, I had to go through Indiana to get to Niles, Michigan. Right there off of South Keystone. And I did not like driving through Indiana. Now, I will say it was back in the 90s. I know, I know there may not be somebody watching right now, but I know that there is a very popular cat fisherman who's an Indiana, Indianapolis Colts fan. So I don't know if he lives there or just likes them. So we won't talk any trash about Mike Greenwell if he lives in Indiana or uh, Indianapolis. Where are we getting these waves from? I didn't even see a boat go by that could have caused this. Well, we're just going to make chat seasick. Rock of the Surfing USA. <laughs> so there's a video like two weeks ago where I was out fishing with James. And unfortunately, his big ass head was in the way. But I picked up a fish, and it almost smacked me in the face like twice. And you couldn't see it on my camera, but he's, it's on his. But it was still funny. Don't rock the boat. Don't rock the boat. Jeez. And you see the way the rods are flopping like yeah. that? Yeah, that's why I'm going with the other rod. Okay. Well, one of the reasons. Plus, Dana had a really smart idea. Because, you know, she is a genius compared to me. Um, but we're going to get, so we're going to have the two regular ones back here. But then I'm going to get bases and I'm going to put bases up here. So if we ever get weird where we're side dr drifting or something, I can then have it all on one side of the boat. I wonder something. My redneck mind. Sun and moon affect the tide, right? Yeah. Both of them overhead right now. Sun just popped out from behind that moon. Could that be where your wave's coming from? Hmm. I mean, I don't know. They were coming from that direction over yonder. Maybe. Just wondering. I might, I might have a redneck mind, but sometimes yeah. it, has a, it has a thought. You know, I think later I'm going to have to shoot James a text message and ask him if he knows anything about that there. That slight little disruption James is in their a, balance. James is a residential uh, conspiracy theorist. No, I'm kidding. He's not. Uh, three minutes, Cleveland, Ohio will be in the dark. They're already dark. The pollen is causing the eclipse. <laughs> <laughs> that would be Kentucky. Dude, our pollen was so bad here, my blue truck looked green. Oh, I hear you. 
and her white SUV looked green. Hey, you remember last year when you and her got married and we were talking about um, renting a house over on, Watch, uh, not Watch Bar, on, uh, dang it, what's that first one in Alabama? Gunnersville. Gunnersville. Um, and I told you about that house? Yeah. That house has almost tripled in the nightly price to rent it now. Dude, it's like three eighty nine to rent it. Mm. Well, we have a, we have a, there's a tournament coming up called New Waters. It's supposed to be you fish somewhere. You can't even pre-fish this, but you fish somewhere you haven't fished in like six months. So I've never fished Watts Bar and I've never fished down there, Guntersville. So I was like, hey, let's, because it's right near our anniversary, right? right. So I'm like, hey, let's make it a dual trip. We'll go out of town for our anniversary and we'll fish the out of water tournament. Dude, three days, it's over a grand to be there. And I'm just like, I can't afford that. <laughs> I can't afford it. I just don't need to. That's the big trick. Well, with business being as junky as it's been, I'm just going to say I can't afford it right now. Here comes your wage. Or I don't want to afford it. There you go. And that, and that's that's more the accurate. statement. There we go. I don't want to afford it. Right. That's more accurate. <sighs> You're not going to put that. We're going to push money back. We're going to Iceland. My mom talked about going over there. Oh, yeah. Look, you can barely see. It's just such a slight sliver, but it's getting darker from the cloud now. Yeah. There was just such a slight sliver looking through the clouds. It's over. Fishy, fishy in the water. I mean, we answered the question, fish do eat during the eclipse. At least one. Yeah, at least one was hungry. <laughs> you respect. What we didn't realize is he's been waiting all these years for that because he wanted him to have his eclipse snack. Now we have our midnight snacks. Chickamauga Lake roaches. David Smith. Wow, we had total darkness here in Little Rock. Arkansas. <laughs> we got a plant there too. Right over in Mom Hill. I know it's not it's not pronounced Arkansas, David. Don't get mad at me. It's, kind of a, it's just a joke between me and my brother. It's pirate Kansas. Arr. I want to say I don't remember when in the seventies it was, but down in Florida, growing up, we had a total eclipse at some point in time when I was a little little kid. And that was really cool. You know, you went to school, they gave you those 3D glasses and said, here, you can use these to look at the sun. They're not 3D glasses. I know, but they look like 3D glasses. They look like they're not 3D. Especially welders. Like I hear that all the time, John. <laughs> I lived in Texas and it was a big thing. We used to make fun of it out in Texas with that. And then I moved here and my brother started calling it Arkansas and this kind of brought me back to that. I just know it as a joke. Most times you hear me refer to it as Pirate Kansas because of the R. Arkansas. All right, fish, come on, man. We're marking some great marks. Let's go. Here, kitty, 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 kitty. Dude, that's new. Come out. What? That, yeah, deck, see you. That's that deck new. sitting right there. When we get up, I'll spin the camera around if anybody who fishes over here would know. Yeah, that's that looks like that's brand new. Maybe some kind of observation platform? Because hey. when the water's up, it's going to come not to the bottom of that, but it's going to cover all that rock. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> 
because we have like four or five more foot we got to come up i think it is It sucks we're almost to the end of where the bank is blocked gonna block the window. <laughs> yeah. uh, it's been so nice. <laughs> Here comes the river roach back. All right, so what I can tell you here from experience is once we get a little closer to the end of where this ends, it is a little snaggy. So that orange and blue planer boards will snap. They shouldn't get hung up, but they're probably going to snag back a little bit. Yeah, sure. Just want to give you a... David Smith, everyone is crazy here in Arkansas. We hired Bobby Petrino back on the football team. Just hired John Calipari. Hey, man, now now he's a good coach. But see, that's 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 what happens when you have when you have unrealistic fan bases. You know, he's got a very young freshman team this year on the basketball team this year, and they were calling for his head. But he's probably going to go out there and do good. I think they're curious what we're doing, probably. We're dragging for catfish. Huh? I said we're dragging for catfish. That's what I yeah. I just caught a 45 pounder oh, wow. and a couple teenagers. Oh. Hey, you too, man. Good luck out there. Sorry for hollering in y'all's ears, but I wanted him to hear me. David Smith, oh yeah, everyone is happy about that hire. Yeah, 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 you guys rehiring uh, the basketball coach. I thought that was kind of funny. But I guess I can't say anything because my dumbass team, I believe, hired him in some kind of, uh, not a coordinator role, some kind of analyst role or something. I'm like, why do we keep taking everybody's trash? How's the eclipse by? I mean, we caught one during the eclipse, Josh. I believe it's going to be completely over now. Uh, actually, Tim, cloud cover. You see it's still... Yeah, it's still there. Yeah, it's still there about halfway. We've got a crescent sun right now. Yeah, yeah, actually, that's the perfect way. We have a crescent sun. So it's still going on. We had one, one bite. But I guarantee you, talking about that Arkansas hire, well, no, actually, I guess I can't say that. They are in the SEC. I was about to say the SEC is about to be happy. No, Josh, it wasn't spectacular. Every rod didn't go down at one time or anything like that. We were hoping. Yeah, so there's a walkway to it, and then there's a dot, um, like a, a deck built there. Mm -hmm. All right, hold on, y'all. I'm going to take you guys for a little ride. I say ride, but I'm just going to move y'all for a minute. So I don't know how long that dot deck has been built there. I don't remember ever seeing that before. By the looks of the wood, it ain't old. But yeah, by the looks of the wood, it's brand new, but that's Wolf Teaver.
10 people still in here. I appreciate you guys hanging out with us this afternoon. Can't see right now. Too much left. There it is. Came out. And it's going in. See, look, a day I'm in here reading chat and Daryl doesn't even pop in to say hi. Boom. He's probably too busy uh, figuring out his next wrestling move. Or trying to figure out the next fishing class he's going to put on for all of us. Was he wrestled out at Ringgold Circus? No, he used to be <laughs> big into the wrestling stuff. I think he was a manager. Oh, okay. I think he said he did the management thing, but he always played the heels. So he does that really good. He does a great job talking trash. And yeah, he's the first one. They've all learned not to talk trash to me. Okay. Um, because every time they talk trash, we win something. So they've completely stopped. Like Jody, she used to talk so much trash. Um, Daryl talked trash during that that tournament, the Whisker Cup that we won. The whole week leading up to it, he's like, "Dragon is dead. You ain't gonna catch nothing, Dragon." And we end up winning it. Um, <laughs> Dragging, yeah. But he does it out of fun, you know. It right. is. It's fun and games. It's it's everybody kind of getting okay. to know each other. And well, apparently he was telling me. Let me know when you go live every time we'll put you on in the store. I appreciate that, Josh. Um, I'll, I'm, I'm starting to do the lives a little bit more. Uh, just, you know, it does help get the watch time up and stuff. Jody was telling me. Um, so, yeah, I do plan on doing some lives, but I'll post them on my Facebook or my uh, YouTube page a day or two before we go live. Strike line. Yeah, Bob, I know you trash talk a lot. And see, I, I don't want to trash talk you back because I'm afraid I'm going to give you another heart attack. And then talk about me really being the most hated person in, in catfishing in Chattanooga. I'll overtake I'll overtake Daryl. Do what? I'll bet you didn't catch that. What? Strike lightning. No. <laughs> Fool? What? This guy's been hit by lightning like three times. And he's collar and strike lightning. Not on my boat. Go swim over yonder. <laughs> Clarified, I've never been hit directly by lightning. Tupper Lake, New York has a blue eclipse. Huh. Tip. Yep. That might be a snag. It kind of went down slow. It is. never snagged on the middle rod coming through here. It's always been the outside rods. <laughs> Told you, didn't it? I got it free. I kind of figured with the slow layover at first, I was like, yeah, I'm hungry. I'm hungry. I mean, with everything we've been marking, I wouldn't have, I wasn't going to be shocked to get hit, but we've been marking a lot over through here. Yeah. Eclipse has me scared. But yeah, Bob likes to say I can't fish worth a lick. That's why you have Dana on the boat. Is exactly. Like you look. Good. And then James James says I can't I can't I can't catch a big fish unless I have Dana or Philip on the boat. I'm gonna have to send him that that forty pounder see if that qualifies as a big enough fish to catch. But then he's gonna be like, "Well, Tim was on the boat, with you?" <laughs> <laughs> You're 
You're welcome. You used him as a good luck charm. <laughs> you ain't like, hoping on me being a good luck charm. You just out of luck. Actually, I do have to say, I am a pretty lucky guy. I've been many a times. Oh, yeah. Listen, anybody hit by lightning one time and lived has to say they're lucky. And you've been hit by lightning how many times and lived? Three. There you go. Three. Never directly, though. Actually, 2045 is the next total eclipse here in the U.S., Josh. But... Uh, Tim was showing me that, I guess, they're in two years. 20, 2026, 20, August 12th, there will be a total eclipse in Iceland. Spain, Iceland. Russia, Greenland. Yeah. So I told him to go to Spain and catch a whale's catfish. Yeah, catch a whale's catfish during the eclipse, man. <laughs> Honestly, I think I'd really go to Iceland. Iceland? Mm -hmm. Not only see the eclipse, but actually see the volcanoes. So I hear it's really like, should have been named Greenland. Stand on two continents at one time. <laughs> you hear me? Mm -hmm. Should have been named Greenland. Yeah, well, yeah. yeah. That was done to keep people off the island. <laughs> It'll be August. So be Still got 12 folks in here. 13 now. Appreciate you guys. We've caught a couple fish today. Caught three so far. Caught one during the eclipse, which was kind of the whole reason of coming out here. And caught two right before the eclipse. Mm -hmm. Now, the sun's actually out. Don't look up there. Yeah, it's definitely getting brighter. I mean, I know the clouds are moving through too, but. I need my eyeballs. I need to be able to see how to dodge people in Chicago. Kitty, 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 kitty. Yeah, there's one tournament that's coming up. Dana's like, maybe we should just bank fish that one. <laughs> I forget which one it is. <laughs> oh, starting to feel the wind kicking back up. Yep. <sighs> All right, I'm sitting down chat because nobody's chatting right this minute. Means twenty people are going to start talking. To you yeah, they're all talking it. to you now. Why well, do you sit down for a few? We've been able to maintain the speed five six through here. Shocked with everything we've been marking. We're not getting bit more. There you go, there you go, there you go. No, nope, huh? snag. Snag. I was looking up at the eclipse. Yeah, I hear you. I got excited. Well, sometimes in shallower water, you'll go over fish, and then you'll get, you won't get bit on the back when you get bit on the ones, the boards closest to the boat. It's like the boat scares them, and they move left or right, and then they stumble across your bait. Yeah. Where's that barge at? We're too far away from the main channel to get yeah. a barge bite if a barge goes by. Oh, yeah. And anyway, still not guaranteed. I uh, was fishing with Daryl, and we had three barges go by. by two of them got barge bites, one didn't. So, it's not guaranteed. 
never a guarantee. That's why it's called fishing. It's funny, you can see where the wind's hitting the water in front of us. Yeah. Because it's rippling, but everything else is smooth. Yep. There's somebody weed eating or blowing. Oh, really? Yeah. Is your name River Roach? Uh, let's see. Somebody commented. Live bait challenge. That's the one she said we should fish from the bank. The live bait challenge. So we got bit at the start of the eclipse, but during the rest of it, we haven't even, well, maybe got one nibble, even though we've gone through a lot of stuff. So I don't know if it's the eclipse, the clouds covering the sun. Not sure what caused the bite and what caused no bites lately. Especially marking everything we marked. Oh, it's time to start making this turn. Well, I hope you all tune in Saturday and watch watch us fish the Live Fishing Tournament League. It'll be our first um, tournament of the year. Started last week. Now, I'm not sure if the ones who won it actually have a YouTube channel or if they were just fishing, but they were Catch Fish with us, I believe it was called. I don't know if that's their team name or, like I said, a YouTube channel name. Yeah. Kelvin. Hey, Kelvin. Welcome in. We've caught some fish today. <coughs> Damn. You caught a cold? <laughs> there was a boat in that there water. I'm not saying you ain't got the rona, do you? No, I had rona three weeks ago. Anyway, don't remember what I was saying before I started hacking. <laughs> you welcome people in? Oh, that's probably welcome. Ke oh, Kelvin, he was a new one in. Yeah. But we've caught some fish, got a 44-pounder and a couple teenagers. Just got to go back through the video and, and check them out. All right, we're about to make a somewhat sharp turn because of that white. Yeah, so you trot wide in the way. I can't really go where I want to go, so... And make a pretty aggressive turn. So right now we have we're dragging seven rods. We have three planer boards on each side, one out the back, and running 100% skipjack. Um, I have some shad. I have some white bass, but. Due to fishing yesterday and not getting anything on the white bass, even a hit, I've not put it out yet. Now it feels like the wind's coming from that direction. Yeah, and it does seem like all the bites have, oh no, the first one was on a head. So the first bite was on a head, but everything since then has been on body pieces. Yeah. 
even though we've had a couple really big hits too and when i pulled in there was no bait left on the hook but it was on a body piece that i'm guessing was guard probably Your dad would be a ham and a half to have on live stream. Oh, yeah. Now, he was out many, many, many years ago. He was out with uh, buddies of his. There's jug fishing. There's one jug was going under the water, popping back up. Under the water, popping back up. One of the guys on the boat, speeding over to it. Get in the boat. Get in the boat. Never missed a lick. Get in the boat. Get in the boat. Dad reached down and grabbed that jug, pulled it up, and up come the guard. Never missed a beat. Get in the boat. Get it out of the boat. Get it out of the boat. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you remember that one day we were uh, sitting on the end of South Chick Creek? We both caught like four foot guard. Yeah. That's all that was biting that day was freaking guard. Yeah. At least in that area of the river that we were on. Right. <clears throat> oh, look at that bait ball. Mm -hmm. So there's fish in front of it, underneath it, and behind it. Mm. The only pro problem with dragging through a bait ball is they have all that bait they're eating on. Who knows if they're going to want what we have out. Right. All right, seven rods. Bow. Oh, geez, dude. I would not know what to do with myself. At that point, I'm going to be begging people on the shore, people in chat, <laughs> get to get Chattanooga this. quick. <laughs> I need y'all to grab a rod. I'm going to be telling people on the bank to swim out here. All right. Let me go over and hand you a rod. Uh, down to nine people. I guess I bored everybody else. <laughs> Kevin Hurdley gets like that sometimes. Yeah. All right, so as we make this turn, those rods are going to be in the old creek bed. These rods here are going to go up on this hump that's back here. Gotcha. The hump get, goes sh super shallow. So maybe if there's anything sitting on the hump feeding or anything... Super shallow. How, how shallow are we talking? Uh, four or five foot. Four or five foot. Okay. Well, let's see, it's marked as yeah, so actually probably about eight foot. Yeah. Because we are up some. True, true. I struggle with the brace. Oh. Come on, fishies. We need a couple more. Give me another one like what I caught so Tim can get a 40 and give me one double that size. <laughs> so I can win the Mad Cats. <laughs> uh, hey, at least I didn't say give you a dink. Yeah, well, I told you, if I catch one more same size I've been catching, I'll equal that one you caught. You might need two more like that. Maybe. Watch that blue rod. It just had, took about a little dip and then sat yeah. there like that. I don't know. Just that I, it tells me it's on the bottom, but that little dip yeah. could have been a short hit or could have just been in some mud. Is that something actively on the left? Um, I don't see anything actively on anything right now. This area is a little snaggy on what would be my left. 
So if you see the board slide back a little bit and it's not like an aggressive takedown, it could just be a snag up. Yeah, I got you guys kind of far forward so I can read chat better because where I normally keep my phone, I just can't see chat. So you guys can't really see all the rods fully spread out like normal. Yeah, normally where I keep the camera, you can see all the planer boards and the rods on camera. You can see a planer board when it gets hit. <clears throat> especially when I use my GoPros because they have like ultra wide right. lenses on them. How often do I get out? Um, Anytime you're saying Sodom will release him. That's factual. So I try to get out every week, but that doesn't always happen. Um, I just started with the live stuff. I was making just videos um, but a couple of my friends kind of said I should start doing some lives too. So I don't, I can't guarantee lives are going to be every week. Um, I do work, uh, my wife and I own a small business. So sometimes it's hard to get out, um, get out on the water. Cause you know, you got to run your business. Oh, so I, I lied. Actually, we're going to be taking the hump on that side and another hump on this side. We're going to go right between these two humps. Okay. Because of where his, uh, his that white tub is, yeah. it's kind of where I got to go. I got you. But I mean, my goal is to put a video out a week. Yes, two small businesses. Well, according to James, yours is in a business. Yours is a money laundering front. <laughs> I say that to him all the time. And he's like, dude, I'm like, dude, stop letting the FBI is going to find out. Dude, could you imagine how much candy you'd have to sell to try to launder money through it? You know what I mean? It's called Hershey, Pennsylvania. John. Hershey, Pennsylvania. <laughs> Mars bars. <laughs> You are going to have to join us on a live, honey. We've been live before, you and I. <coughs> but yes, honey, I wish you could join me every time I'm out here. All right, so everything should be coming up on the points now. Okay. Oh, they can watch me make candy while you fish. Oh, I mean, that kind of, yeah, we just got to get you a phone holder and I technically can send you the, the link. He's back in here. She's making candy while I'm fishing. Sounds fishy. Well, since we've gotten up on this point, I'm not marking anything else. Nope. But we're going to come right off the point here in another second or two. I really think that blue one is it coming up the point. Yeah. Yeah, that or speed of the turtles. Turtles, Fungi. Oh, uh, I might be dragging a little too fast for yeah. turtles. Snag. Yeah, yeah, how slow it's going. Yeah. Yep. Sorry, I'm having to make another aggressive turn. Now, see, that's also a nice key for those who don't know. Um, when you're dragging and you make turns, if you get hit on 
the opposite side that you're dragging, those baits are usually going a little faster. If you get bit on the side you're turning, those baits are usually going a little slower. So it can help you to know whether you need to speed up or slow down. Both the fish earlier came around 0.5 points, or all three of the fish earlier came around 0.5, 0 0.6. So I've been trying to stay between 0.5 and 0.7 the whole time. Uh, last year, I was catching fish going 0.9. I actually accidentally caught one going a mile an hour. The wind, wind kind of caught me. I wasn't paying attention. That was super speedy fish right there. Welcome back, Walker and family. Hello, Miss Claudia. Oh, welcome back, yeah. You running sonar? Yep, I've got so I've got my sonar on. I have to on on one because I've got it linked to my trolling motor. So in order to stay on the depths and the uh, the ledges and stuff like that, I have to run it. So yes, I'm running my sonar. I'm running both sonars. I'm not just running mapping. I'm running actual sonar too, down imaging and side scan. So we're going to start, the boat at least is going to start coming off that point, which means it'll still be a little bit for the baits, but we're going to start coming off this point and drop back into this creek. Gotcha. <clears throat> Thank you guys. You keep this going. Definitely has my interest. Well, uh, glad we have your interest. I don't know how much longer we're going to be out today. We've been on since noon. Almost four hours. That's a snag. Come yeah. free. Thank you. Not yet. It's snag good that time. Yeah. Dang it. All right, we're going to have to go back and get it. There's some good ones. Reel them up. Yeah, no problem. All right, guys, we're going to have to reel stuff up and go back and get this board. Or go back and get this snag. That hit was a good hit. Go ahead and pull baits because we'll have to put new baits on yeah. anyway if we keep fishing.
right. I'm going to have to start turning around now. Gotcha. Because we're about to have this real spool. If I don't. Save it up or I'll do it. I need to do it. You do what you got to do. Sometimes when you're dragging in heavier current, if you let the bale free, the floats will pull out of the snag. Right. But because we're in such dead, really dead current, you know, 10,000 for the entire lake is nothing. Oh, will you pull in the drift lock? Yeah. It's because no matter what, we gotta, we're going to have to move somewhere. Right. Because it's kind of to the end of where I normally drag here anyway. No, sometimes you can get below it, sometimes yeah. and it works, sometimes it doesn't. Get over. Please. Press that button and release the boat. Uh, 
Uh, that was an expensive loss, too, because I had a demon dragon on it, I think. Yep. And an navigator just go down that again. <laughs> I thought I was going to be able to do that. Come on, two top. Stretch. I just say about the burp right now. All right, watch out for a second. I don't mind if you want to go back and start from the beginning. Uh, definitely you'll see some bigger fish. All right, guys, I'm going to mute, decide what we're doing. It's 4 o'clock. I don't know. We might go somewhere for about another hour or so. But let me figure out what this wind is doing and what I can, uh, where I can drag or if I need to anchor somewhere. But I'm going to mute for a little while, guys. All right, I got the big motor on. That's why I muted. I'm going to go check a spot and see what the wind's going to do, see if we can at least anchor there. Um, see, yeah, we'll see how that goes.
Sorry, somebody was calling me. Yeah, we'll talk to you about your car insurance. So right now I am spot locked. So right now we're trying to spot lock in front of at this creek mouth, this old creek mouth. I'm trying to figure out what the wind is going to do with the boat. Um, so I may move a couple times just to try to see if we can can uh, spot lock here. Loving awesome folks still in here. Appreciate you. Trying to get back on the anchor mark. Mm -hmm. I got the anchor mark right in the middle of this creek mouth. So I was thinking, if, if since the wind's coming from the south, if it'll hold us where this is the back of the boat, right at the opening of the creek mouth, we should be able to cast out and kind of fan cover right. the creek for a little bit. It's looking like it might work out. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's almost to the to the spot, so. actually might, might, might work. work out yeah There's some structure yeah. off over here somewhere will you do me a favor you yeah, want to give you a job will you start taking those weights off and putting these on there's some there there's some over here to this side. Uh, it is time for the Mondo Skipjack to get cut up. Now, even though it's in a, a bag, it's not frozen. I tend to, when I catch fresh skipjack, I put them in a bag, seal them up, and then put them on ice because I don't want the ice in the water to uh, wash the slime off the fish, if that makes sense to y'all. Definitely going to have one Mondo bait out there, though. Look at the size of that head, man. Order. Yeah, in this cup holder, there's. You can use those two okay. small ones. We'll just put it because the current flow it'll be fine. We're just going to go with those straight out the back.
That's that pig sticker hook I really like. There's still one more paper over there, right? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Put it on this. I put these two on the same board. change direction it's now coming from that way. Yep. See it swinging? Just shift it. Guys, I'm gonna end the live. Um, I might just set up to suspend here for a few, but I'm gonna go ahead and end the live. Uh, the eclipse is over. We caught one fish during the eclipse, two before the eclipse. So fish do bite during the eclipse. We're just not sure how well this is going to happen. But thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. Hopefully this is a uh, catfish blood on me. Uh, fine. Who knows? Um, probably skipped it. But anyway, thanks for watching. We really appreciate it. Thanks for hanging out with, with us today and chatting. That was an awesome thing. Thanks to the new subscribers. We really appreciate that. Uh, Y'all have a great day. This is John Catfish Hunters TV. We'll catch you on the next one. Oh, yeah. Watch this weekend for the tournament. Fish in that tournament this weekend. But anyway, this is John. I'll catch you later. Bye.